Water Valley Blue Devil football is being brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Yalabusha Hospital and Nursing Home, Turnage Drug Store, Valley Tool Incorporated, Farm Bureau Insurance, Trolley Kai Clinic, Luke's Body Shop, Black and Associates PA, Midtown Auto Parts, First Choice Insurance, Crow Martin Attorneys at Law, CW White Incorporated, Horan and Horan PLLC, Fisher Property Team of Remax Legacy Realty, and Mechanics Bank. And now all the play-by-play action with Steve Lindsay and Chad Franks. Good evening, Blue Devil fans. Welcome back to another week of Water Valley football. The Blue Devils tonight take on the Holly Spring Hawks. And uh, Chad, this this week is I'm, I'm I hate to say this, and but it's always kind of a okay, thank God, yeah. you know. But you know, Holly Springs has had some teams in the past that gave us a little scare or whatnot. But it's because of penalties and and mistakes, we've always had a pretty easy time with the Hawks. Yeah. So I don't know what to expect tonight. The numbers tell us that it's going to be another one of those yeah. nights, probably. But we still got to take care of the football, and we still have to do the thing. We we need to get better this week. Man, we have got to. This would be a great week to eliminate some stupid penalties that that we have just been just. You know, we did well enough against Mahalia a couple of weeks ago, but we were talking a moment ago, and I think it was Tony here said in about a six-minute span from late in the third to early in the first – or late in the third, early fourth quarter last week against Independence, we had like 115 yards in oh, penalties. Yeah. And I talked to Brad, and I said, listen, I know – this was Wednesday night at church. I said, I know you've had time to look at the film now. <laughs> Were those really foul penalties, or were we just getting hosed yeah. by the refs? And he said, well, you know, some of them were questionable, but like some of the face mask penalties that we were even like, what? Yeah. Are you seeing two in a row, really? Yeah. He said we were just tackling with our arm around. He said not even the face mask, just and grabbing the head. And they probably moved the helmet, and they thought. Right, and or, they just yeah. threw the flag. Yeah. But he said majority of them, we deserved them. Yeah. So it, it's not like. We got hosed in that deal. We did yeah. deserve some of those penalties. So we got to clean that up tonight. Well, and the thing that might have been part of the what was going on, too, once you start getting penalties, I almost feel like the referees, maybe not even intentionally, they sort of noticed things more than maybe they would have. But nonetheless, mm -hmm. we were, I think every Water Valley Blue Devil was just grateful to have gotten out of there with a victory last week. And, I mean, it was just, it was, Felt like a miracle right there at the end <laughs> for us to have done it. Well, your Blue Devils this week are five and two, and the and the Hawks are uh, two and five. So the numbers are: Water Valley's averaging 26.4 on offense and giving up 17 on defense a game. Holly Springs is scoring 19.7 a game on offense and giving up 28.2 on defense. So that pretty much tells you. I mean, if we went by this just every week. Mm -hmm couple of weeks now when we played wine on it was tight yeah but and the game wasn't <laughs> right but other than right. that it's been pretty yeah. close well you know, you know and Winona probably even skewed those results a little bit but you know I told actually I was walking in with um, Blaine Clark a moment ago and I said you know I'm kind of thankful this week and for Holly Springs not to take them lightly but we've had two really tough games back to back you know, we've yeah. had some to where we've just had to really overcome. I like that. You know, I, I do too, but it's also nice. Hopefully this week we can, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say coast because you still got to play. You still got to do But we do have opportunities to eliminate some penalties. We've got some opportunities, yeah. hopefully, to to do some different things or to try something that maybe didn't work last week that we wanted to. So I think we, I think the key tonight is opportunity for us. Right, and we got we got to get better in the secondary. Uh, we need to figure out some things, and maybe this week we'll have an opportunity to do that on the on the in the game time, like game minutes. Game yeah. minutes are worth ten times what practice minutes are. That's right. But uh, let's see what's going on in the league. Uh, Water Valley is two and zero. Oh. Centobia is two and zero. Oh. North Panola is one and one. But don't get <laughs> they're six and one overall. But uh, both Water Valley and uh, Centobia are five and two. Independence is one and one, five and three overall. Bahelia is zero and two, four and four overall, and Holly Springs is zero and two, two and five. So that kind of gives you a little uh, glimpse of the finish coming ahead. Is tonight's Holly Springs, next week Centobia, or next week what? 
is it Cenotopia? North, North Panola. 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 It is Cenotopia. Yep. So, yep. but both of those guys back to back are going to be rough. Yeah. And we need to get healthy and we need to get ready. So that being said, we'll take a break and when we get back, Bob will give us a history the, uh, between the two schools. And here's a hint: it's it's a pretty long one. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School athletics. Valley Tool makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. When did insurance companies start emailing handshakes? Why is a billboard the only place you see your agent's face? Who decided you can't have good rates and good coverage? If you're questioning your insurance options, get real answers from a real person with a Farm Bureau Insurance Get Real Review. It's simple, quick, and tailored just for you. Get real auto, home, and life insurance. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. See agents Chuck Up Church, Don Gray, and Bradley Brown. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area. A way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get a rundown of the history between the two schools. Bob, what have you got for us? Well, as you just said before the break, uh, the history is, is, is has been a long one between Water Valley and Holly Springs. This will be the 51st meeting between the Devils and the Hawks, making it the second long series in Blue Devil history. Of course, Cenotopia uh, is the team we have played the most. The overall series, Water Valley leads 35, 12, and two. First meeting, uh, Water Valley won uh, that meeting 21 to zip back on October the 21st of 1942. And the last meeting, Water Valley won 43 to zip. That was last year. Games here in Water Valley, Water Valley leads uh, 21, 5, and 0. Oh. And Coach Brad Embry, he is 7 to 1 against the Hawks since he's been here at Water Valley. Now, both teams are former members of the uh, Tri Lake Conference. That was back in the 70s. And uh, Water Valley defense has given up only one touchdown against the Hawks in the last 16 quarters. Wow. <laughs> so uh, not many touchdowns scored by Holly Springs. Water Valley hasn't lost to Holly Springs since 2008, which was Coach Embry's first year. Holly Springs has been shut out 14 times in the series. Since 1981, this is when the playoffs started, Holly Springs has had only four winning seasons. That was 1994, 1995. 2014 and last year 2018. Wow. They've had 30 losing seasons in that time, 10 winless seasons, wow. and just four even seasons. On this date in Blue Devil history, Water Valley's record for October the 18th is 8-2 and 0. Oh, and hoping to make it 92. Man, right. we just keep we're in the positive every time he says that. Well, yeah. this date we're double it seems like we're doing okay. Well, Coach Emory needs two more wins for hundred. Hopefully he can get one tonight. We'll take a break. When we get back, it'll be time for the uh, kickoff. The guys are meeting at midfield right now, so we'll be ready when we get back for the kickoff. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Complete body repair. They do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing. Free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays, 8 till 5. Turnage Drugstore, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. All right, folks, we're back. We're ready for kickoff. The Blue Devils won the toss and deferred to the second half, so they will be kicking off to the Hawks. 
And uh, well, that's kind of we well, want a couple of changes we were talking about, you know, and they the kids mentioned this to me all week, but I just I just let it go in one ear and out the other, and you know. But Ty Morgan will be playing center again, okay. so they moved him away from H, and, they, and I can't remember who they said was taking his spot at H. Of course, we have Chance Dewberry at H, and then, uh, but I can't remember who the kids were saying that they're going to rotate. They're going to rotate in, in uh, you know, with him. But yeah. uh, also, want to mention some good news. Ty Kirkendall had it was scary for a moment. Had two major surgeries a couple days ago, yeah. but the doctors were able to finally get all the infection, and they say he's going to be, listen, listen, six to eight weeks. He'll be ready for baseball. Good deal. Good deal. Well, you know, more than baseball, and I'm sure Coach Lee is certainly proud of that, you know, <laughs> that that he's going to be, you know, wind up being a healthy young man again. And, you know, for those of us who are parents and just fans in general, we thank the good Lord for that. And you know, for his mercy. and well, I know he had a lot of folks praying for him. Yeah. And, I mean, Brad went up there, and he was there until about 12 o'clock. And then Coach Lee went up and stayed yeah. until almost 12 o'clock, 11 to 12 o'clock, yeah. something like that. And didn't get home until very late. And, uh, yeah, he had a lot of people pulling for him this week. So, Dre McCray is ready to kick this thing off. We'll be kicking to the east. And he gets a foot into it. It's a good one down inside the five into the end zone. Yeah, that's a touchback if he'll pick it up. You can bobble the ball in, even on the two, three-yard line as long as you don't have possession of it. If it carries on into the end zone, you pick it up, it's a touchback. But if you touch it and don't pick it up, guess what? We can recover that ball for a touchdown. So you got to get it. you got to get it if you've touched it. That is right. So, Blue Devil defense will hopefully get things kicked off. On a good note, looks like we got Marion at near side corner. Uh, DeMichael Hervey at weak safety. Co of course, Tolbert at strong safety and uh, Rocket out on the far side at DB. And the interiors, you know, same starters as normal. Keldrick's back. Yep. So. The Hawks are looking to chunk it early on Marion on a one route down the near sideline, but it was overthrown. They've been watching film, huh? Yep. Marion was on him that time. Well, was turning, looking, and so good for Marion. We're going to try to press. Yeah. You know, Marion came in all excited. We're going to press the receivers, and um, that's exactly why that ball was overthrown yeah. right there. Yeah. And he stayed with him the whole he did. time. He did. Even looking back and forth, back and forth. So Have we not been coverage. crying about that yeah. for like four games? Grown, <laughs> yeah, we've been grown men crying about that. We sure have. <laughs> but now Mario's good way off. Look at him. He's he's uh, 11 yards off. They're going to hand off this time up the middle. And it goes for a couple, maybe I think, three. Yeah, I think they fumbled actually and got back on it. That was number 44. Hid, um, Higdon on the stop, but I think they fumbled the ball and number 72 got it back or something kooky was going on there. No, maybe they just felt it, did, it was a weird exchange. Yeah. So third and eight. They only got two. Third and eight for the Hawks. That's when they're behind the chains there, so we like yeah, that. Yeah, they're well. Now's when we need to press that receiver yeah. again. Yep. Number two for the Hawks, your quarterback, Dylan King. And uh, he comes under center this time. He gets and he pitches it back to the tailback. Grant's in pursuit, and he's going to be tackled yeah. by Demica Hervey. Yeah. The ball came out, but I think it was I think he had a calls. knee down yeah. first. So that's going to be fourth down in about five, and the Hawks are going to have to boot it. And I don't think they're going to be as bold as the hell you no. um, just go for it. No. See, last week, wasn't it uh, North Panola beat by Hellia 37-13? But really, I'm going to tell you what, we could have beat them by more if we could have just stopped them on yeah. third, fourth down a couple times. I agree. Absolutely. We had a lot of mistakes in that game, too, especially on uh, defense a little bit. And here comes the punt. Bad snap. He just half-stepped it. Ball hits it around the 47. It. Goes out them. on the yeah. Water Valley 44. Oh, Yep. So, Blue Devils will take over at the 44 and a few changes to the uh, lineup this week. So, let's see what happens. Uh, of course, you got Chase King, Kai Hervey, Ja'Cory Woodard. And uh, who is that? That is 
Matthew Childress and Tolbert's in at receiver. Kyle Hill Houston's in at receiver. And Rockets in at receiver. No, it looks like uh, they have Tolbert playing tight end, kind of. Mm. Like H, yeah. maybe. No. Handoff up the middle, and that, that actually yeah, went backwards. Didn't go anywhere. Well, they watched film. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Well, and Tolbert blocked down. I thought we were going to kind of come inside. I, but, I mean, come out, to, excuse me, but we stayed in and nothing to do. And they actually lost the yard. We're going to have second and 11. No, oh, that looks like almost 12. Look at that. Yep. Yep, you're right. Wow. You're right. No, I thought it was a loss of one, too. But when I looked over there, I was like, wow. So Tolbert's lined up at receiver, and Rocket's right behind him. They put Rocket in motion hand off to him. He's around the right side. He's got a little room. If uh, Kai Hill missed his block and got a flag. Man. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> well, and we already, we were losing yards anyway, so we're going to get 10 more on, you know, a, a three yard losing effort. Wow. Man, holding. And I'm going to tell you what, well, the only good side of that is if they take the penalty, we get the down over. So it'll be second about 12, 20, Two, almost 22, 22 21. 21, 21. So, second and 21 for the Devils. We just, mm. I hope that's the last penalty we get all night. But <laughs> Kyle Hill just, you know, yeah. let him go. Look, Rocket can beat one guy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, let him go. Go next level. Go next level. That'll help. Got Tolbert way out here this time. Rocket in motion to hand it off to, uh, to Micah Hervey. And he swallowed up for maybe a loss. He may have got, let's see if they move it back. Yeah, they moved it backward a yard. He, the third, 22. 22. Yeah. Golly. 44. Yeah, 20, 22. Third and 22. Well, the Hawks are going to be fast now. They're going to get to the corner. But what's going to hurt them is they're small. Look. Yeah, these are some. They got some. They are not very big up front. So they're going to take a beating up front. Jacob's going to throw it. He throws it over to uh, Tolbert in the slot. Tolbert picked it up uh, good probably pick up, but we were 13 just so, yards. Yeah, we were just so far behind the chains here. Ah. Good pickup, but we're going to have to punt. That was a good pass play right there. I like throwing underneath. Yep. Just kind of a pick play. It almost. is. I, and I say it every time we do that, that, that the slant pass is such a pretty – Pretty play when it happens, or when it when it when it works. Sometimes it just doesn't, and you know, then all bets are off. Good snap. Ball is booted. Nice kick here. Now this one turns over, hits at the 25, and rolls down into the 20, just inside the 20. Yeah. Good That's a good good yeah, job right there. Good down. So flipping the field, keeping a good field position. That will eventually catch up. Oh, yeah. Well, the Hawks are not a big team, not a lot of kids out there. Probably, what, 30, 32? Yeah, I was looking at that earlier, you know, when they're out here doing warm ups and stuff. And I was honestly thinking, man, they, they're not just physically small, but numerically smaller than, much smaller than what we are. I'm looking for a couple of defensive scores tonight, maybe. Need them. So Water Valley stacks the box. Ty Morgan gets hey, in. Yeah. And uh, was that Grant Burris? No. No, that's um, that was uh, 24. 20, that's Parker Todd. Parker Todd in on it. Parker and Todd Grant. hit it first. Yeah. And then Grant came in too. Hawks yeah. runners tackle on the backfield by number 50, Ty Morgan, number 78, to Corey Well, now I, I told uh, told a few people this week, I was like, you know who I really want to see play middle linebacker? Did you tell him you Kai Herbie. <laughs> and uh, you know, I told Kai. I told Kai at break today. Finally saw him at break. I hadn't seen him much this year. He doesn't have classes in my building. So he said, you know what? This coach I've been talking to at JUCO so wants me to play middle linebacker. Yeah. So see, I'm not wrong. Tom Morgan got pressure mm -hmm. on the quarterback, but he slipped out. Yeah. Grant's in pursuit. Rocket's in pursuit. Yeah, they run him out of bounds down. for about a gain of 12 Almost, or 11. Yeah. So he's close to the either. first. No, that's not. He's only, he only getting about eight. There you go. We can't really see that sideline over there. Yeah, it's, I mean, admittedly, it's kind of hard to tell. We should be better than what we do, but it is hard to tell. So third about three. Long three. 
defense needs to buckle up. Yeah, we got to get a stop here for sure. Good bit of confusion. Yeah, they don't know where to line Ooh. up. They just played fruit basket turnover up there on the line and hand off to the tailback up the middle, and he got to the 30. Mm. And they got a first down. It. Sure did. They blew that whistle a little quick. But yeah. he, yeah, he, that was a good second. Number good second like, effort. I'm going to tell you what, I, if I were the Hawks, I'd be mad. They blew that whistle a little early. That pile was still moving forward. Yep. Well, they got the first down for sure. I don't think he, I don't think he had it had we stopped him right where we hit him. Yeah, but they, but they just, just kept push. turning and kept turning, man. Which is surprising because we outweigh them up front. Yeah. So quarterback hands off to the tailback again. That's number three this time, and he just jumped over a guy. Oh, Ooh, I don't know if I he, don't was think he was down. That was an early, early way. He was not down. I don't think he was down. He had two nope. hands. He had his feet and in his hand. Feet. Yep. But that's not down. That's not down. That's not got to be elbow, elbow has to touch. Knee. That's right. Wow, that was number three, Kadarian Lumpkin. And, uh, and he was yeah. mad, and rightfully so. He knew that some, that, that was early I don't whistle. think he would have gotten away too much no. farther. He got away because everybody stopped. They heard the whistle, yeah. yeah. Right. Had the whistle, but he might yeah. have picked up a couple more, yeah. though. He might have got it, you know, two or three more yards. But this time they go slot right, eye formation. And they're going to pitch it to the tailback. Ja'Cory gets in. Grant gets in. Number three. Oh, oh, wow. Who is that? Parker Todd hit him? No, that was Dalton. Dalton. Higdon, but I think um, <laughs> Rocket was the one that came in and delivered. Like, Dalton slowed him, like, stood him up. Yeah. And then Rocket came in and clobbered him. <laughs> First down for the Hawks. Yeah. Little bumbling, tumbling, stumbling, rumbling. I don't know all those Lumpkins, words. And you see Lumpkins on a knee out Man, there. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he got hit. Let's see. He got smoked. So first and 10 from the, they're on 49. Slot left, eye formation. Snap is. Good, hand it off to uh, the, the tailback. And he stopped immediately for about a yard gain, maybe. Yeah. Now they're walking back more. Now they walk back forward a little bit. That's a crooked line they're walking there. <laughs> the guy on the near side had him for about a two yard gain. And the guy on the far side of the field had him for about no gain. So they just went in the middle and they so, got a little over a yard. Yeah. So, second about nine. Well, I have to say up until this point, the Hawks have been impressive and we have been less than. Well, I wouldn't say we're that bad. We just weren't on offense. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, but I'm defense saying the defense, terrible yet. it doesn't feel like they should be moving the ball like they are. That's right. Oh, a fumble snap. There's a reverse. Yeah. Hervey's in pursuit. And then they cut it upfield and got uh, about that's three. That's on the stop. Higdon on the pursuit. So it'll be third and five. Just under five, so four and a half. Five, just call it five yards. Third, we need five. a third down stop right here for sure. I don't know. They may still push it after this down. But. Well, they almost fumbled that ball. Did you oh, see yeah, him? He yeah. juggled it all the way to well, the look, handoff. A couple of handoffs ago, there was a bad, bad exchange between the quarterback and the um, tailback there. So I'm thinking there might be a couple on the ground okay, tonight. So they got an extra receiver this time. King gets the snap. He's going to hand off, and he yeah. ran into his own yeah. guy. And he's, oh, my God. Wow. Ja'Cory Woodard just laid the wood to him. Yeah. And that was really just Ja'Cory standing there. Yeah. <laughs> he just ran into a brick wall is what he did. Yeah. So the Hawks are going to have to back up and I think they are boot it. To run it. Here comes the punt team. And this is where, you know, I think we have the advantage yeah. Uh, I don't think this is. Teams. I don't think this is going to be inside the ten. Now he does kick a low ball, and we are not far, very, far, very far back. Yeah. I told did. somebody this week I would play four receiver, uh, four, uh, four return guys, guys, two up, two back. 
That ball, see, now that one would be caught instead of running inside the 20 down to the 617. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yep. Four return guys I would put back there. So 318 left in the first quarter. And Water Valley will get their second possession of the game. We'll take a break while they get on the field and come back right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area, a way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan & Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnault are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we are not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We are not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. Turnage Drugstore, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. All right, we're back. Blue Devils have hustled onto the field and uh, ready for their second possession. we got about 14 seconds left on the play clock. Why is it taking this long to get ready to snap the ball? we got trips right, slot left, put a man in motion, and he, Jacob's going to keep himself around the right side. He's got some blocks. First down, Water Valley. Some good Number couple of downfield blocks there. there. Well, that's what I can't believe. I mean, we tried run left, run up the middle, but we have an extra running back in the backfield, you know? Number 16 is always ready to run. So, some positivity from the O. Nice pickup. So Dre's in the backfield, slot left with uh, Rocket in the slot, Kai Hill, Houston, far side, and that's uh, Lafayette, near side. There's a chance to do Barry in the slot, he, uh, in the H, he goes in motion. They're gonna run it around. J Jacob switches fields, there's a big hole. Nice move right there. And Jacob just lowers his head. Yeah. Man, that, that could have, he only got that three, but I'm telling good. you, that could have yep. been a touchdown. Yep. If we'd have had that block sealed out here, yeah. That's why coaches say, even if the play's running away from you, keep blocking keep until blocking. the whistle. Yep. That was a good kind of, you know, field view. Those are hard change. blocks, yep. but, but you know, keep blocking. Don't ever let – and I don't think Colby or uh, Rocket did let up. That was just yeah. a, you know, good move by the DB to get around their guy. Well, and they – because, you know, by the time Trust changed – sides of the field. I mean, they had probably been blocking for several seconds. For Trust sure. is going to keep it around the right side. He's looking to throw it to Chance Dewberry. It's overthrown and picked off, but there's a, there's flag, a flag down. Yeah. It went right through. It went off of Chance's yeah. hand, but it looked like it went into Rocket's chest, but, but the guy from the guy got it. Holly yeah. Springs just pulled it out of there. So let's see what the flag is. Let's see if it's going to be our ball with some yards or their ball with yards. I say a little ineligible downfield. That's going to be Jay. That's going to be the Hawks' ball going the other way. Wow, intercepted. And I don't. That's not Jacob's fault. I don't nope. think that was just a good play by the Hawks. That was a good defensive pick. Now, if he was trying to throw it to Chance, I think right. yeah. But usually in that situation, he, he does try to throw. 
He overthrew Chance, which tells me that's not who the intended right. receiver Right, because he was close. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't think they he were just right on, not on top of each other, but you know, Rocket was just a little bit back, and I mean, now if Chance did get a finger on that ball and slowed it down for that guy to get it. Right. That could have that could have happened. But nevertheless, the Hawks made a good play, and they got the ball inside the forty of the Blue Devils, and they're they're looking to throw it. Oh my gosh, Mama. we got a fumble! I told you, that was Ball Ty Morgan. <laughs> No, that's Cook. Oh, uh, uh, Cook, yeah, but Ty, I thought Ty was going to come in and get the – I thought, yeah, Ty was going to get the ball. Right. That guy just – I mean, Cook had his leg, too, trying to keep him from get that, getting that ball. And Ty had six on his brain. That's a loss of about 17. Talk about flipping the field. Goodness. Yeah, that's, that's a good defensive play right there. So – I would say the Hawks are in pass mode right here. Close to panic mode. We need to raise this window. I'm sitting here looking through a daggum <laughs> snowstorm. All right, they're looking to pass it. Oh, the ball got booted. Uh, Look, he just yeah. threw it too good. Yep. He hit his receiver, who was wide open, and it hit off his face mask and went up in the air about five yards. It's crazy. Third down. Third and 27 for the Hawks. Third and 27 for the Ooh. Hawks. Down to 115 in the first quarter. Wow. Feels like a lot of action, but not really a whole lot of. It's kind of like two kids intending to fight. <laughs> Just walking around and bumping shoulders. <laughs> All right. King gets the ball. A high snap again. He wants to throw it. He throws it out in the flat, and that didn't go Good nowhere. Good stop stopped by Grant and uh, Keldrick. Yep. Picked up of about three. Fourth down in a bunch still. Fourth down and higher than we can count. Fourth down. Well. Fourth and 25. So actually a pickup of about two. Now. Look, I would push Rocket way far. There he is. There he goes. He's in good position now. Rocket is in actually a good spot right now. Tolbert is in a good spot. Rocket gets it. He may be gone. Here comes the punt. It's high and short. Rocket's going to let it hit again. Head gum, and that's, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Six, seven, eight yards on the roll. Man. Get up. Come up under it and catch that thing. I hate that. I'd rather I'd rather fumble the ball Try than let it hit the it. ground. Right. We talked about those aggressive things, and that would be an aggressive bobble if necessary. Well, we got the ball. First and 10, 20 seconds left in the first quarter, so this might be a last play. If you'd have told me we wouldn't score in the first quarter, I'd been shocked. I, I would have been shocked if you told me we wouldn't score twice in the first quarter. <laughs> right on so the 30. Slot left. Jacob's going to hand it off to Dre McCray, and Dre just got nothing. Nothing. He Most, maybe got on second effort yeah, and got back got to the line of scrimmage. Line, and that's going to probably How be in the world are these guys getting through our line? Through And they're getting through Kai Hervey and uh, in between guard and tackle. In between Kai and Jacory, how? How on earth are you getting between those two guys? You should be able to put a, a string of straw through those two young men. Well, that's the end of the first quarter. No score. We'll take a break. When we get back, we'll be ready for the second quarter. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Fisher Properties is now better than ever. The number one real estate team in Water Valley joins the number one real estate brand in the world. Remax Legacy Realty. Call Sherry Fisher or Tony Hill at 473-4503. Main Street Coffeefield Insurance is now first choice insurance. We take pride in our customer service. Our goal is to build long-term relationships with our clients through our experienced agents and the ease of doing business. It is our belief that people should be treated equally with the respect and patience they deserve. Great customer service before, throughout, and after the process is our main concern. We strive to give you the best insurance experience. First Choice has insurance to meet your family's needs. C.W. White Incorporated Petroleum Products and Water Valley supports Blue Devil football and academics. 
selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for over 60 years. C.W. White offers local express ethanol and non-ethanol gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street in Water Valley. Also additional locations of local express and Sunoco fuels in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis, and Sanatobia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. Midtown Auto Parts, your CarQuest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy-duty vehicles, custom-made hydraulic hoses for the farm, and heavy-duty equipment. Three- and four-wheeler parts and small engine parts, too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of K&N air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m., six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts, the real parts store. Blue Devils, uh, the ball at the 30-yard line, second and 10. Uh-oh, we got flags already. Offside, offside, wait. Dead ball penalty marker on the play. How in the world? We weren't even set yet. How can you have offsides when the offense isn't set yet? Sideline one. Oh, okay. Sideline one. What? He did, he did this. He did this. Yeah, but the, the ref did this. He did the yeah. yeah. So when, they, when you start scrambling for those signals, you don't see very often. <laughs> so snaps out to Jacob. He's got it around the right side, and he just ran out of bounds. He just ran, ran out. Yeah, there. ran out. Of Springs room. is doing a good job. Give him credit. Good there. containment. Absolutely. Spreading us out. Stringing all the plays out. Well, that was we tried to run that to the near side, the short side of the field. That was just going to be tough. Now that's a loss right there, Chad, of about three yards. So third and thirteen. Short side of the field. That maybe was not the. We had too many people coming this way. Kai was coming this way, and he was blocking two guys and doing a pretty efficient job at that. It's just too many people in too too little space there. It well, might have been a better one on the, uh, you know, to the left side, the wider side of the Kyle field. Hill is trying to get the tension. Somebody's trying yeah. to get the play. I think I throw it to Tolbert right here. He's saying I'm open. Well, Tolbert. He's noticed something. Oh, my goodness. We got flags. Delay a game. Yeah, well, we couldn't get a play called in. I think that's on the coaches there. We couldn't yep. get the play called. So back it up five more. And you're almost kind of in a situation where you just have to throw it up to Tolbert and hope something good happens. Well, he can make good things happen for sure. Yeah, and maybe he won't get tackled most of the game tonight, you know, on, on pass coverage. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were fixing to put a linebacker on him. I'm throwing it to him every time. Okay. <laughs> Number eight. That's uh, Deviante. Deviante Faulkner. He'll be trying to cover. Tolbert, he's short by about six inches. Tolbert gets outside and they throw it up to him. Nice catch, and there's a flag. It's a first down where he That's caught it. Got to be on the defense. First down. I don't think I saw. Holding. We're gonna have a hold on, the on the defense. But it's yep. a first down exactly right there. So we'll decline yep. that unless we'll take they want it. to tag it on. Take it, take it. Well, maybe they watched the film from last week too. Mm. Thank you for calling that because he's been getting pretty much hosed on those kind of calls all year. He hasn't been getting them. Well, you know, last week, I mean, he was just decline. And Brad saying, hey, wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to tack that on to the end of the run? <laughs> where did uh, Brad's trying to figure out where the foul occurred because you get 10 yards from that spot. And we might we could have actually picked up because if the foul occurred on the 35, we would get it at the four, the uh, 45. It happened That's what right he's here. trying. So it happened right here in front right. of us. Right. So I think they just messed that up. They didn't know. They should. That's why you leave the flag on the ground until the coach decides what to what take. What we're doing. That's right. So, nevertheless, first down and ten for the Blue Devils at their own 42. Two. Yep. Zero zero. Eleven thirty six left in the first half. Tolbert still by himself. Single coverage over here again. I. Keep throwing it. Demica Hervey's going to get the ball around the left side. Oh, he wait. got to their line of scrimmage. They are just, we got to get upfield. We got to string it out and then go. We are go. running to, contrary to what most coaches tell you, we are running north and south too much instead of east and west. Yeah, we need to be running right now east and west. We need to be running <laughs> west right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I just, I pulled. 
Darius in tight and just run him out on just a little fly route almost every time and just throw it up. Or back throw, back shoulder throw, whatever. We're going to hand off this time right up the middle to DeMica. He got good yardage this time. Up, He probably got seven. What did he run? Straight west. Straight ahead. Yep. He's the ball carrier. Gain of six yards on the play. He brings up third down, third down, and four. Third down, and four. So that should be second down. And should be second down and four. Or that should have been a first down had we mm -hmm. done that twice in a row. Slot left. They put Rocket in motion. And there's a guy offside. There's the flag. Yep. Thank you. They That's finally called it. First down. Now, he wasn't in the neutral zone. He actually he got came past across. the ball. He, he sure came did. He, the he almost down. touched. Was it Contavious Hervey? Is that the one out there on the left tackle? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he almost got to Hervey. He passed the neutral zone. First down, Water Valley. <laughs> All the coaches wearing pink, except for Cole. Cole's got the fluorescent green shirt on. He has to stand out. So the snap is pitched out to Demica, who pitch, got pitch, good pitch, into good the pitch. guy, and he got he got up to about the on, thirty, on the forty-one. 40. Forty-one, yeah. So going the wrong way, my bad. That's a six, seven, six-yard pickup on first down. Six yards. Yeah, now six we're starting to move it, but move it forward. Yeah. For All right, young man, let's keep our hands to ourselves, though. And the clock's running. Nine twenty to go in the first half. Three minutes, almost gone. Well, this time, Jacob's looking to throw it to. Tolbert. Tolbert down the sideline. has his hand. He, oh, He's wow. He's holding him. Where has is a the hand full of jerseys. Well, the ref is not running down the field. He's watching from behind. We have nobody down there to watch the play. Yep. He's watching from behind. Yeah, he, you can't watch that play. He should have been upfield with him. Well, you know, Cole's telling him, hey, you got to rip out of that. You got to rip out of that and go. Well, and if nothing else, if you get a little separation from you, it's obvious his hands on you too. Oh yeah. I mean, his hands not just or, on you has a hand. And if you're trying to rip guy. and you're not making any progress, then they'll call it. They'll know. Yeah. So third down and short. Jacob's going to keep have, himself, and he's yep. got the first Hell. down over the 35 to about the 34 yeah, yard line. Good pickup right there on third, third down. down. Yep. Nine minutes even to go in the, in the uh, first half. First the Blue Devils on the move. Clock moving with the change reset. Slot left. Tolbert right. McCray in the backfield. Truss gets the, uh, well, he backs out and tries to get another play call. So a coach called audible. <laughs> So he snaps the ball, hands off to Dre McCray off the left side. Good push this time, and Dre's got another first down, or at least close to it. Real close. That angle's going to mess with us. Yeah, he, no, he just waved him. That's the first. First down, first and ten, Blue Devils. Nice. No flags. We haven't had any flags on us this possession. Hey, hey, hey. That's why the ball is moving the right direction. Well, I see my family is back from Batesville. Had to go take pictures at a wedding, uh, wedding. What do you call it? The night, the dinner, rehearsal, dinner. rehearsal dinner. Yeah. yeah. And speaking well, I won't of see them tomorrow. <laughs> you say, speaking of traveling and things, your girls. I saw the volleyball one last yeah. night. They'll be at home again. I think Tuesday. Uh oh, we got a timeout. Timeout on the field, timeout Water Valley. Eight oh five zero zero. Blue Devils are moving though. We'll take a break. Be back after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. C.W. White Incorporated Petroleum Products and Water Valley supports Blue Devil football and academics, selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for over 60 years. C.W. White offers local express ethanol and non-ethanol gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street in Water Valley. Also additional locations of local express and Sunoco fuels in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis, and Senatobia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. 
Joe Black and Associates Public Accountants located at 306 Railroad Street in Water Valley are proud supporters of Water Valley Blue Devil Athletics and Academics. Black and Associates wish the best for the Devils not only on the field, but in the classroom, offering individual, business, and estate tax planning and tax preparation, electronic filing, payroll, and general accounting services. Telephone 473-1441 or 234-8921. All right, we're back. Blue Devils first and 10, almost in the red zone. Put Rocket in motion. Jacob's going to keep it himself around the right side. Oh, he should have cut it up right there. Wow, we got a flag. Holding, I think. Yeah. Dang, that's going to hurt. Man, he should have cut it up right there before he got out to that one-on-one -on -one block. Holding on the offense. Back it up, 10. What did we just talk about? No penalties on this drive. You know, and we just can't help it. Uh-oh, somebody didn't tell the referee he don't know something. <laughs> Uh -huh. He certainly didn't call it on Holly Springs when Tolbert was running down the sideline. Well, that's a different guy. It's the guy over here that doesn't know. When is, let's go ahead and put him in the end zone so maybe you can see stuff coming. There's too. a guy way back in there, back in the end zone, but he ain't, you know. We need two guys back yeah. there like playoffs. He's ready for the punt. So first and about 21, 22, they're going to throw it up to Tolbert down the sideline. It's over. Beat. He got Touchdown. it. Touchdown, Tolbert. 38 yards. Ooh, nice. Well, that time, you can't hold him every play. And if you don't, guess what happened? That's right. All we need is a good pass, and Jacob put it right on, I mean, right over the shoulder. He never did slow down, check up. He nope. just caught it in stride right over the shoulder. That was a It felt pass. like it was going to be just a little out of reach, but Tolbert was it just did. trotting. When he first threw it, I thought, that's overthrown. Almost said that's going to be overthrown. Yep. And uh, Tolbert ran under it. So John Serrett on to add the extra point. Uh, Ethan Hyde to hold. That's Eubanks on the snap. Aiden Eubanks. And we're waiting on something. What's going on? Here we go. Ball is snap, good snap. Ball is down, kicks up, good. Seven to zero, you score. Water Valley's on top. 7.31 to play in the first half. We'll take a break and be back for kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Main Street Coffeefield Insurance is now First Choice Insurance. We take pride in our customer service. Our goal is to build long-term relationships with our clients through our experienced agents and the ease of doing business. It is our belief that people should be treated equally with the respect and patience they deserve. Great customer service before, throughout, and after the process is our main concern. We strive to give you the best insurance experience. First Choice has insurance to meet your family's needs. Tri-Lake Eye Clinic is proud to support the Water Valley Blue Devils. Dr. Edwards and his staff realize that teamwork is important not only in sports but in bringing you the best eye care possible. Dr. Edwards is teamed with Zeiss VisuCam to bring the most advanced diagnostic imaging system to the area. The Zeiss OCT detects glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic eye disease earlier than any previous instrument in eye care. Tri-Lake Eye Clinic, seeing in better so you can see out better. All right, we're back. Dre McCray is about to uh, put this ball on the tee and put a toe in it. So, Chad, that was oh, – we waited a long time for something that should have happened in the first six, seven minutes. <laughs> I feel like I at mean, least. I mean, that feels like what we should have done on the first drive. No, no. So about our quarter behind. Dre got a – Put it to, to the right side. It's a short one this time to about the 12. Holly Springs is bringing it straight up the field. My goodness. And Dre's going to have to push him out of bounds at about the 49 yard line. Man. That felt, wow. That, that was, I don't know that we've seen a kick quite like that other than well, the, the long the, one they got it. Um, was it Winona? The problem with that is, and that's what I've been trying to explain to a lot of people. I don't like the angle kicks very much because you can just go straight up the field right now and you're you're gonna get there more was yards. nobody here. The kicker, right. of course, we have an exceptionally gifted young man in the kicker had to catch him on an angle and almost, whew, you know, a little too much angle. If that kid would have been a speedster, it'd be tied up. Yep. 
So King gets a snap, hands off to the running back, and he's stopped up at the line, but nope, he nope. on second effort Bounced got out. back through for a game of about two, three yards. Three, the ball three yards, yeah. We had him stacked up for a loss. No one had a hand on him. He was just back behind his own guys. He was stopped, but not. we didn't completely put the end to it. So, second and seven for the Hawks. Hand off up the middle. There's a flag, quick flag. That might be a chop block. Yeah. I think it's going to be against Holly Springs. I don't think it's holding. Yeah. That looked like it was thrown like at the line where they're in the area of the chop block. So yeah. let's see. It's way back up here on the 45. Yeah, he's he's giving he's signaling the guy over there is a chop block. Chop block against yep. the Hawks. Yeah, that's I think a big one. We, yeah, I think that's going to be – that's not sideline warning anymore. That's going to be <laughs> sideline 15 yards. <laughs> See, now they're leaving the flag on the field until they've respotted and got confirmation. <laughs> that's what Personal they should have done on that one. Yep. 15 more. Good gosh. Wow. And yep. those are the types of things I was talking about in pregame that really gives us that boost on Holly Springs every year. They they keep doing those types of things to themselves. You know, I mean, they had that run back that could have gone for a touchdown. And we just got kind of lucky that now Dre was on his toes. Right, they're back on the 29. I mean, that's, a, that's 10, 20, almost 30 yards. It's right at just barely under 30 yards, second and 30. Spread formation. Uh, King is going to be sacked by Parker Todd. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice job, Parker. That was uh, Ty Morgan that yeah. came in late. Meeting, on the, meeting they, from the outside. They blew the whistle after Parker started going backwards with him. And I was thinking, I want to see him drive him in the ground. Come on or at least see, at least see Ty knock him down. So now it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 4. Third and 30, about 35. Third 35, yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought it was third and 34, but yeah, third and 35. Wow. Yeah, it is. That's right, it is, because that ball is a yard behind the 25. It's on the 24-yard line. So, yeah, they need to make our 46. Woo. This is when you just throw it up deep. Uh-oh, whoa, a penalty. I don't know if that was a delay, delay of game, game or yeah. what. Wow. The Hawks. Man, that's another, so it's third and 40. Back up five yards, brings up third and down. They can't go much further back. <laughs> it's going to be half the distance before too long. My goodness. What do you? What play do you have here? You can just run anything right here because you pretty much just going to punt. We're going to punt in a couple of uh, – next play. All right. That's kind of what you'd say. We got uh, just two receivers right now. Too tight. They just swing it out to the receiver out there, and he's trying to make something happen. And he gets Ty Morgan came out from <laughs> just from the defensive line, <laughs> got in the backfield, and then went out there and made the tackle on the receiver. That's crazy, Mr. Hustle. So, he got a little bit. He got a little bit of the football field back. It was almost fourth and goal from the other five-yard line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seemed like they were way behind the fourth sticks. Fourth and 35, so they got, they got back five. their delay of game penalty yardage. So let's see what happens here on the snap. It's a low snap, caught, booted. It's actually a good kick, fair catch call for by Rocket, and he catches it on the 48, 49-yard line. So that's where the uh, Devils will start, 4.31 to play in the first half, 7-0 to zero to score. The Devils are ahead by a touchdown and an extra point. It's known for serving up some of the best hamburgers around and for good reason. 
But if you ever try that hickory smoke barbecue, yeah, I know, I know y'all can hear this on air. But that's your, that's your, uh, that's your man Bob Murphy. That's your hearing over the the field mic. He's got a great radio voice, man, and it just sounds so crystal clear. He enunciates, and, right? Yeah, it's like he's not from the south almost. <laughs> Uh oh, we were whistle happy. Yeah. Uh, see, delay. Uh, false, false start. False start. Wow. Back us up. Back us up, man. We uh, we talked about it. we got to get rid of all these penalties, man. They're killing us. First and fifteen. We're going the direction that the Hollyhawks were going a moment ago. Was that first down, first and fifteen. First and fifteen. Trust puts Dewberry in motion, and Dewberry comes back. He pulls it. He's going to try to swing it out. Everybody, Rocket's wide open. Rocket's wide open. There he is. Got it. Now, take off, Rocket. Oh, that's that's a first down. Okay. Uh, did Jacob hear me? He <laughs> did. I think he did. Rocket was open for about 15 seconds. First down. First down. First and 10. Good level from the Hawks. 42 yard line. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Rocket was open for a while, as Jerry Clower would say, for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Slide left. Uh, that's DeMichael Hervey in the backfield with uh, Trust. Puts Dewberry in motion. And he's just going to fake like he was going to throw it out there to DeMica and then run it up the middle for a decent pickup right there of about four or five. Four yards. Second and six. Down to the 38. Brings up second down, second and six for the Blue Devils. Well, man, I would love for Russo and them to beat North Panola. That'd be nice. We got the early score that they were up 7-0 in the second quarter. Yeah. I just that, that's kind of like here. I'm shocked that North Panola hadn't scored in the first quarter. Well, it was seven to six. They seven had to scored. six. Yeah. Okay. So maybe they had missed their extra point or something. It actually, yeah, it was a six. Herbie still in the game. Trust runs right side. He's got a couple. Now there's a flag. Wow, two flags come in. Number 16. Hopefully that's a face mask, but usually it's usually in the vicinity of old. our old nemesis. Hold. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, we just cannot quit the the penalty cancer. We have it, man. This year has just been 45 yards. Yeah. 100. Feels like 100. Damn. The only thing helping us right now is that Holly Springs is doing the same thing, you know? Yeah, much, much worse than us. So that brings up second about 19, eight, yeah, well, no, 17, 17. So slot left, Grant Burris is in the H and uh, we hand off to DeMichael Hervey right up the middle and he got to the 47. And that's going to be third and about 12. Yeah, third and about 12. So not a bad play. If we can just not hold those kind of plays, we'll get us down the field. If we weren't just so far behind the chains, that would have been a really nice pickup for sure. So look, I mean, now number eight. Pistol formation. Okay, never mind. They got a safety's back. They got a safety back trying to give help. On Tolbert, I throw it anyway. But those guys are about six inches shorter than he is. And that's what the coaches are looking at. I think that's where we were going to go is to Tolbert. Now we're going to throw it back across. Now Jacob's going to run it, and he's got the first down. And now we got a got a flag downfield around the 29, 28 yard line. Oh my goodness! Well, the good thing would be that would be a first down, and then bring it back so it would still be a first down we just wouldn't gain very many yards back that was actually not holding wow what he said. that's coming back then yeah. well let's see what they do with it he did not signal holding he signaled block in the back though I think so, that was blocking the back. Yeah, now yeah. it'll just be third. The the, the yardage kind of offsets. It'd be third from, and eight. Right. Third and seven. 
Wow. Third down and seven for the Blue Devils. Yeah, I like that play. It was just a delayed run by yeah. Jacob. It looked, well, you know, it showed had, pass yeah. and then took off. Had all their DBs back off a little bit. All you had to do is make it yeah. past the uh, first wave. Make it past the first wave. That's right. Okay, so, man, they're playing four deep right now. Jacob's looking to try to throw it. Nobody's really open. He throws it to Darius. Darius has got the first down. Nice catch right there. He just had position. Yep. Big body hit him in the chest. Great throw and catch. Wow. Down to the 20. First down. 25. Man, did you notice when he caught it? He, they, he went, didn't go down. I mean, it took a minute to get him down. He's not a small fella. No. That's what I'm, man, I mean, he, he really could be a special receiver. And that's what I was trying to get Bud to do the whole time. One minute and 14 seconds to play in the half. Jacob keeps it himself, runs around the right side. He's got a couple of lead blockers, but I don't think he got them to the line of scrimmage. Barely that, right. Maybe one, yeah. So we're trying to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Water Valley does have all two timeouts. <laughs> all two timeouts. There's minute eight. So second and about nine. Running out of bounds didn't get us many yards, but at least it stopped the, the clock, clock, right? It's like an extra timeout. McCray's back in. They put Darius in the slot this time, uh, which is good. I think Rocket was in motion to hand it off to Rocket. They got a good block right there by Dre McCray, and Rocket goes back, bounces outside. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. 24-yard touchdown by Rocket. No flags. No flags. That's very important. That was a great block by Dre McCray, and he kept yep. blocking. He just didn't block and stop. He kept blocking, and that's what allowed Rocket to jump back outside and, and get the corner. Good block, good outside blocking. And if you, you know, go back, and I'm sure Bob will replay this, and too, you can see the way in which the Tol no, excuse me, not Tol Rocket kind of watched where his blockers were and right. adjusted to them. That's right. So Surrett's out to add extra point. Hide the hole. Eubanks to throw it back there. High snap. Ball is down and up and good. 14 to 0, your score. We ain't got but 58 seconds left in the first half. We'll take a break and be back for the kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area, a way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel. That commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. Oh no, are you okay, Mike? Yeah, got a pretty big fender bender here. Don't worry, State Farm's got you covered. <sighs> That's great to hear. Robin, what's going on? We're gonna get you a tow truck, Mike. Thank you. Fender bender going on. Fender bender. Fender bender. Fender bender. Fender bender. Everybody remain calm. No reason to panic. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. In Water Valley, see your good neighbor agent, Andy Epps, for your insurance and financial needs. State Farm. Fisher Properties is now better than ever. The number one real estate team in Water Valley joins the number one real estate brand in the world. Remax Legacy Realty. Call Sherry Fisher or Tony Hill at 473-4503. All right, we're back. We got some pink smoke this week. Every time we score a touchdown, the student section throws up the baby powder normally, but this week is pink in honor of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Hawks get the ball, and man, they just look like they're close to breaking one. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah, that was a good arm, uh, arm tackle, maybe touchdown saving tackle by number 23, DeMichael Hurry. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty quick himself. Absolutely. <laughs> when he wants to be. <laughs> he sure don't make it. Well, you know, some of his teachers might say, well, you know, he ain't fast coming down the hall, but <laughs> now he, I'm, I think he's probably always on time, but. Were you ever, did you ever go to class quickly? Uh, not in college. I did high school. Well, except for those two or three times when you're in a spat with your girlfriend or something, you know. <laughs> had to work that out in four and a half minutes. 
without a cell phone. Right. You know, so King gets it, swings it out to the receiver on the far side. That's number 23, and he gets bumped out of bounds for a gain of about three. Pass is complete to number 23, Evan. So second and about seven. Knocked out of bounds by number And seven, that stops the clock, 47 right. seconds. Gain of three yards on the play brings up second and seven for the Hawks. So Marion's got to be careful here, you know, because they're, they're wanting to try to – and he's on the wide side of the field right now. So he's got to be real careful how he plays number 29. And he's off of him. Almost 10 yards. Needs to be, nine yards. Probably needs to be more in there. Looking his way. They're looking his way. But this time he gets loose. King gets loose and is headed down this near sideline. Pushed out of bound by Demica. Yeah. Yeah, but he was definitely eyeballing. Well, he sure was. He was. And that was Dalton Higman should have broke down and made that play. Golly, he just kept running forward and, got, and they put a move on him. Yeah, I think if Dalton just breaks down, who cares about a yard here or there? Break down and make that play. These kids have never He tried seen, to go for the kill shot. Well, they've never heard Mark Harmon's advice in summer school. Watch my waist. Yeah, Mark Harmon. Yep. I remember that guy. All right, 38 seconds to play. Hand off up the middle this time. That's, that's going to be a first down, but you don't really need a first down right yeah. here. They, Holly Springs has, it says they have three timeouts. They have not taken one. We have only taken one. Amazing. And that may be timeout. Why did they call timeout after that? They got clock stop for the change. We'll keep it here. I want to remind everybody to catch the play back every Saturday, 11 o'clock, channels 97, Max South. And uh, on Mondays, you two go to YouTube and type in Water Valley versus Holly Springs, and you can watch it in the comfort of your own whatever. <laughs> comfort of your own device. How about yeah. that? And any attire you want. So YouTube has been definitely great. One of these days, if we could ever get Wi-Fi, a good, reliable Wi-Fi, we might be able to go live. Even but live, yeah. Uh, that's going to require for sure Wi-Fi that's in a working, and we're going to have to be strong enough to fight with two or three, I'm sure, because once that guy, that happens, yeah. everybody's going to want to tap in and use yeah. the Wi-Fi at that yeah. point, you know. So it's going to have to be something that's going to be capable of carrying a lot of data. Well, I'm curious about something, and I don't know what it is. Anybody comes down Highway 7 around Anchor, they are blazing a trail for something across Highway That's that 7. Uh, power line oh, running from Grenada to Oxford. Okay. It comes right by our house out there. All right. Slot left. Single back. Uh, they throw it over the middle, and the referee was in the way. They, the referee ran the pick play on the uh, <laughs> Hawk receiver that time. If, would that he almost a, got hit in the face with it. Would that have been a foul if it was basketball maybe? <laughs> Yeah, the referee's like, hey, quit throwing at me. <laughs> That's when I'm – if I'm told, I turn around, hey, man, good play. That's Thank fine. you. Okay. Keep it up. Yeah. See if you can knock one or two more down. <laughs> Just don't knock them down with your face because that would hurt. <laughs> so same formation for the Hawks. Second 10, 30 seconds left to play in the first half. King's looking to throw it off. Right side, that was, ah. should have been picked by Keldrick. Yeah. Wow. Didn't he have one of those hands. last week yes, he dropped? Two too. weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, remember that was Holly Springs. Or no, uh, who was it? It was here. By hell, you're right By hell, yeah. Yeah, it went right through his hands. It may have been last week, too. Yeah, the last early week, in the game. That's right. Like their first drive they ended up scoring on went right through Keldrick's hands. I'm going to have to get on to him about that now. That's two weeks in a row he's let an interception go. That get you know, we had we had 25 seconds and a couple timeouts, man. We got time to score. Yeah, pick six would have been nice. Yeah. Because I don't think there was much going on over there if he had gotten it. No. So third and ten. Way up on him. Yeah, we're playing up on him with Tolbert. Bumping the inside guy. Well, now he's going in motion a little bit. They throw it quick. They threw it quick to him, but there was just too many people in the area. Tolbert got a hand on it. Fourth down. Yeah, and it went through two Holly Springs defenders. And that's an incomplete pass, so they have to punt. That's that's not good. Not for them. 
We've got 22 seconds. I don't know that we'll do much with it once we get it. Last week, they took a kid from Water Valley, Jerry and jo Jones, in an ambulance to the hospital. Uh, I think a head injury or something like that. Just, I think, uh, concussion protocol or something. Mm -hmm. really? and, uh, he's, he's on the sideline this week, but uh, not dressed out. Mm. He's got a jersey on. That's it. But he's okay. Uh, this time, Rocket's going to field the punt about the 24-yard line, 26-yard line. And he's got a little running room. we got a good block by Marion right there. Oh, he stepped out right at the 50 sure with did. nine seconds left on the clock. So good run back by Rocket. Nice blocking right there by Marion. I mean, he did pretty good to keep his guy from, and that's that gave us an extra ten yards on that on that return. Yeah, I mean, he had certain ambitions there that had he not stepped out of bounds, I think he could have gotten ten yeah, or fifteen more. Planted a but little. Then you early. run out of time, and you don't have time for a play. So I don't I mean, this gives us time for maybe one. One kind of potential. Deep. I throw yeah. it deep. You That's got what? Rocket and Tolbert on the near side right here, yeah. and there's a timeout called by Holly Springs with timeout nine field, seconds timeout. left in the half. Holly Springs. Well, we'll keep it here. So the Blue Devils have come alive in the second quarter, Chad. I mean, the first quarter looked dormant. I mean, just like we have been seeing the first couple of uh, last couple of games. It's kind of like a diesel engine. It's taking but, us you know, a moment to get you noticed this, that last week we started up in the second quarter, we scored. This week we started up in the second quarter, and we scored. So we don't we need just, to do that next week with North Panola, though. <laughs> we need to do that in the first out. minute. Well, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to at halftime, Independence is still up seven to six. Wow. And I know that by the time anybody hears this, the game will completely be over. But you know, people at home may be keeping up with that as well. And so, certainly, some interesting possibilities in that. Well, Water Valley. Still has two timeouts, Chad. Nine seconds, but that's not enough time. You couldn't yeah, call both of them. We need to roll it down field but quickly. You can throw a good pass down there and get a field goal. So that's what we're going to try to do. Ch uh, that's uh, Look, Grant Burris. Oh, and he uh, fumbled the ball. No way. He, he got, got it back. back. Got he it got back. it back. Got it back. He got it back, and that's going to be a second. timeout. Yep. That would, with one second, 1 1.2 seconds, that would be a 44 yard field goal. Uh, that's right at John's max. He could try it. Hey, we could try it. Or you could try to throw it in the end zone. We'll talk about it for a moment. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, I don't think it's a wrong choice one way or the other. You got about the same odds because you got to get either get in the end zone or make the field goal. John can make them. There's no win tonight. Uh, he's going to try it. Try it. Yeah. Come on, buddy. So, Sorrett will try it from about 44, 43 yards. The ball is on the uh, – no, that will be 45 yards. It, it's on the uh, 38, so you're seven yards from the line of scrimmage. So it would be a legit 45-yarder. So, yeah, we're hoping John can get a foot into it. And and I, I hope he's prepared for this. You've got to aim more right. you got to aim just inside the right upright because the ball stays on your foot longer if you compress it. So, so if he changes. misses, I would say he either shanks it right – Pulls it left or makes it. So, so I mean, that's pretty much. <laughs> but one of I mean, those when you three. when you yeah. understand that there's yeah. probably about eight more different things that could happen. Right. It's those are three. Those decent. are three that probably are going to happen. So, the snap by uh, Eubanks is dead. It's back. It's popped. Is it going to make it? Oh, nine uh, yards deep. Short. Nine yards deep. He can return it and he is. So he's gone not. Why are they blowing the whistle? That's a returnable play. Yeah, that was. Now, John just got under that one. He, yeah. he kind of got under that one and didn't really get into the sweet spot. But nevertheless. I love the try. Oh, yeah, definitely. That, and we might need that out of him later, so I'm glad we, we got to try that one. Halftime, 14 to nothing. The Devils are on top. We'll take a break and come back for the Dunn's Country Store scoring summary right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. 
at Yalabusha General Hospital. We are not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. The Blue Devil Scoring Summary is sponsored by Dunn's Country Store on Highway 32 West in the Silverina community. Features hickory smoked barbecue, hand padded never frozen hamburgers, farm raised catfish, and their cooked order ribeyes served each Friday and Saturday nights. All right, we're back at halftime, and the Blue Devils are up by a couple of TDs. Chad, tell us how it happened. It's time. Wait, wait, let me see. We got to plug them. It's the Dunn's Country Store Scoring Summary. You know, and when we made a reference a moment ago <laughs> about Bob's voice, it was the Dunn's Country Store Ad, commercial. Was, yeah. for, talking about the barbecue or in the hamburger and the catfish, I think is what they were talking about. All right, so um, pretty short so far tonight. Absolutely no scoring in the first quarter. Uh, second quarter with seven minutes and 31 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Number 16, Jacob Truss tossing the 38-yard touchdown pass to number 29, Darius Tolbert. The PAT was good. Bringing the score to Water Valley 7, Holly Springs Hawk 0. With 58.2 seconds left to go in the second quarter, number 7, Martavius Rocket with a 24-yard touchdown run. John Turret's PAT again was good. Bringing your score to your Water Valley Blue Devils 14, the Holly Springs Hawks still 0. We did try there with a little over a second left to go, a long field goal with John. Just a little short, but could have been good maybe from what well, you think, maybe 40. Oh, easy from 40. Yeah, and so. yeah just he needed three to four more yards. That You know, you got to understand that ball comes down pretty sharp from the apex. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you don't need many more yards to carry yeah. a couple. And he, that ball landed nine yards deep. If you were standing back there, it probably missed the uprights by two, two and a half yards, three yards maybe. So, yeah, he didn't need much more. And he did not hit that ball solid. So, yeah, had he hit try. it, so he's got the power yeah. to make that. Yeah. So, yeah, so don't think that we're just, ah, uh, he can't make it. No, he can. So, <laughs> anyway, that's where we're at. And uh, the Devils really look good in the second quarter on defense and offense. First quarter, no, not on both. But now maybe credit Holly Springs a little bit, Chad. Maybe they're yeah. doing they're they did something. They, they did do. some good things the first quarter for them, sure, yeah. absolutely. But anyway, second half will be – coming up after this break so stick around there's more football to play you're watching blue devil football when did insurance companies start emailing handshakes why is a billboard the only place you see your agent's face who decided you can't have good rates and good coverage if you're questioning your insurance options get real answers from a real person with a farm bureau insurance get real review it's simple quick and tailored just for you Get real auto, home, and life insurance. Get Farm Bureau insurance. See agents Chuck Upchurch, Don Gray, and Bradley Brown. Turnage Drugstore, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area. A way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel. That commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. All right, 
right, we're back for the second half, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Holly Springs will kick off for the first time of the night. They've got the ball laid on the ground, watermelon style, and the big boy puts a toe into it, and it goes over there to Mario Morgan on the left side. And, ooh, one man. <laughs> he only had a man or two to beat. And he could have been gone, but he gets it over the 50-yard line. Or right on the 50. Let's see where they spot it. Uh, 49 of the Hawks. There you go. So great field position. Already on their side of the field. Right. You know what I think the only addition we need to make in here is we need some really expensive chairs. Knock out, put windows underneath here so we can lay back and watch the game. Lay down. Lay yeah. down and get that lower lumbar. <laughs> Take the pressure off. Yeah, my back's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> so that's DeMichael Hervey in the backfield with Jacob. He actually he is that run that play again where he DeMichael runs yeah, out to the weird, side and yeah, he like fakes fake, the throw or fake pitch, pitch. Yeah. and then takes it up the middle yeah. off guard. And he picked up about nine yards on that play. Yeah, I like second one so much. I mean so much. Doesn't that sound so much better than second and fourteen? Now, like if Ole Miss is playing Alabama and we have second one, I'm like, no, I'm still, I'm worried. That means Alabama hey, has the ball. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> like, well, it's like three and out. <laughs> All right, second one. The mic is in the game, puts Rocket in motion, and he's uh, that was a uh, okay. So that was that was a uh, snapper error. That's where you get a false start from the snap. So Jacob called for the ball, and the whole offensive line Moves. tied. And that's one yeah. of the things I kind of expected a, a couple of times tonight yeah. because Ty's coming back to the center position. Everybody's got to learn his cadence, you know. Well, then how do you get timing down? You well, you watch it. the ball, yeah. you know. That's what we were taught to do. Yeah. Don't listen to the quarterback, watch the ball. If you listen to the quarterback, sometimes you'll jump off sides. Oh, yeah. Yep. Especially if they hit a count hard. Now we got second and six. Rocket motion. Drake's looking to throw it down the line to uh, – that's Kyle Hill Houston. Wow, look at that. Okay. That was good coverage yep. right there. Yeah. And uh, not a bad throw out of yeah. – uh, Jacob, Jacob yeah. but uh, man, they just good coverage on Houston right there. I'm, I'm kind of almost like, where was the error there? Should Jacob maybe have checked off and yeah. should we not have a backup underneath somewhere? Because it felt like he was always the whole only time going to Cahill. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and the DB was on him the whole right. time. Yeah. The sticks are wrong. It is it's third and six right now. We'll take it. Oh, here we go. That's uh, DeMichael Hervey right up the middle. He's got the first down. He bounces it outside. Now back in. Now back out. And a uh, good pickup right the there. Up to the 30. Nice play right there. Good pickup. Good pickup. Well, you know, I love Dre McCray, but he comes back in now. I love him in a game, but I love more the balance between the two. Share the time because – it gives you a different dynamic. Absolutely. And you know? it causes the defense to have to be prepared for both opportun or for both um, possibilities. Yeah, they, they have such different games. This time, Jacob's going to do that the same little play where he fakes a pitch, and now he's got he's some room. Gone. He's gone. Up, touchdown. 30-yard touchdown run by Jacob Truss. From 30 yards out. And you knew it was coming. They, they were just too small up front to stay with us the whole game, Chad. And if – really, if we started in the second quarter, put some points on, you knew they were going to be starting to get more tired and more tired. Right. It may be – Maybe. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I got shrimp right here in front of me from the crawdad hole, and, and I'm sitting there. All I can think about is that, those hamburgers that I smell. With well, the, I, ate, I, ate, the ham, I ate a hamburger and a hot dog. The shrimp smells pretty good, though. <laughs> you can have all you want. John Surratt in for the extra point. Hide the hold. It's down and up. Ooh, we had a good penetration, but John kicked it over the heads, and it's good. 21 to 0, 10 28 to play in the third. We'll take a break. When we get back, we'll be ready for the kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. 
Main Street Coffeefield Insurance is now First Choice Insurance. We take pride in our customer service. Our goal is to build long-term relationships with our clients through our experienced agents and the ease of doing business. It is our belief that people should be treated equally with the respect and patience they deserve. Great customer service before, throughout, and after the process is our main concern. We strive to give you the best insurance experience. First Choice has insurance to meet your family's needs. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drug Store on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. All right, we're back. Dre McCray's got it teed up. And uh, Blue Devils are rolling. Holly Springs still struggling against us. Oh, that's a short kick, and it hits the ground. Picked up by a big boy in the middle. That's number 26. He bounces it out and gets tackled from behind by guess who? Micah. DeMica's having a great game he now. Is. I'm telling you, he's trying to get his handshake with Farmer. <laughs> <Number 26. laughs> he's trying to get uh, his Andy Epps handshake. We got a flag down over there on the far side of the field. Let's see what that's all about. Looks like it's on the uh, Hawks. No, on Water Valley. Wow, it's sportsman like. Wow. So the Water Valley defense has given up one touchdown against the Hawks in the last 18 quarters now, Chad. 18 quarters. I'm not good at math, but I think that's four and a half games. They haven't scored since 16. We beat them. Water Valley won 14 to um, 6 in 2016. That was the year of kind of ugly, ugly Water with, Valley football. That's weather. with Water Valley getting up big the last two or three years yeah. and still putting the younger guys in. Yeah. Last year, I don't. I think our young guys played most of the all second of the half. second half and maybe even part of the second quarter. Okay, so King gets a snap. He's going to want to throw it. He's going to throw it down the sideline, but he's in throwing into. He threw it outside, out, out of bounds pretty much. But he was kind of in the same situation Trust was in. Both his receivers were caked that time. I mean, they didn't have anybody, on, any room on their DB. Good coverage. He got a limp out of number 21 coming back to the huddle. Second and 10, 10, 15 to go in the third. 21 to zip. Water Valley's up. Holly Springs, man, just all of a sudden, look like they, they just don't even look like they want to be out there. Look, it's like, ah, eh, there's no hurry. There's no, there's no incentive to get to the line. King rolls out. He wants to throw. He's being chased by Dalton and Cook, who push him out of bounds for a loss of about four. Quarterback number two, Dylan King. Mo, whoa, whoa, make it more than that. Make it a loss of about that six, five, six, yeah. five or six. Ooh, wow. 16. Man, that was a big loss. It didn't look like that bad, but sure was. Third and long for the Hawks. They uh, got DeMica Hervey as your weak side safety. He kind of needs to be helping over here a little bit. Now they got trips right this time, and they're looking. Nice jam by Marion. Oh, and that ball is almost picked oh the caught. Wow, first down, Hawks. Now, look, that was not a bad play by yeah. Darius. Uh, it just went up instead of down. Yeah, he, he got a hand on the ball, and it was almost an incredible play. 
He jumped in front of the receiver and got a hand on the ball, but it, it kind of bounced up in the air somehow, and uh, the receiver good enough to turn around and catch the ball and get a first down. Just one of those things. Man, I'm telling you. That looked like the, almost the catch that Quincy Adeboyjo did in 2015 over in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> All right, first and 10 for the Hawks. King gets the ball in the shotgun. He's looking to throw. He's got a little time. And Darius almost, he jumped it almost again and almost it, yeah. picked it that time. Yeah, but I think he's just a little fast he's, or a little early. He's doing like Deion Sanders used to do a little bit, where he just bait the, bait the quarterback to throw the ball. He would stay off the receiver big enough so that the quarterback like, ah, oh, I got it right here. I got it. And then he would just jump it. <laughs> so and they still have first down on the thing over there. Why? Second and ten. I don't think they're not keeping up quite as There he good. goes. Now he changed. <laughs> That's our guy. <laughs> we don't call their names. No, shotgun formation trips right. Ball's on the ground and he's, he's down. down back for a loss of about seven. Yep. Wow. Right on the money, seven. Well, let's see where they mark it. Now, yeah, yep. they're marking it dead on the 45-yard line. That's a loss of seven. So, man, the Hawks have got uh, devilitis. <laughs> <laughs> starting to break out. <laughs> Hopefully we got rid of the disease and we're giving it to them. Well, third down and long again. See if our DBs can hold strong. This time we got uh, we got Chris Harris in at DB. Marion is out, and they're going to throw towards Rocket. Really? He's picked it. He's coming up the sideline. That's just not the smart move. He's got a block there. He's yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Kevin McIntosh is going to block the last guy. Good block. No flags. Touchdown, Water Valley. Wow. I, and I said, he's throwing a Rocket. Really? <laughs> you better throw it perfectly if you're throwing a Rocket. I mean, Chris Harris just came in the game. He's, you know, would you not throw that way? That's what I'm thinking. He didn't. He chose Rocket. And Rocket was like, man, no, 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 no. Not going to do that. And he made a great catch, too. Good run. He's used to running that ball. That's right. And then, I mean, once he caught it, it was just like, you know, he was on offense. I mean, follow your blockers, your blockers' <laughs> numbers. And somebody said, I see you, Boo-Boo. Yeah, his nickname is Boo-Boo. And, yeah, you can hear me. I see you, Boo-Boo. <laughs> so, Rhett's back out. He's getting a little work tonight. Getting a little work in. Hide the hole. He banks the snap. The snap is high, but it's down and up and good. 28 to zip. Blue Devils are taking control. We'll take a break. Be back for kickoff. You're watching Blue Devil football. Oh, no. Are you okay, Mike? Yeah, I've got a pretty big fender bender here. Don't worry. State Farm's got you covered. <sighs> That's great to hear. Robin, what's going on? We're going to get you a tow truck, Mike. Thank you. Real fender bender going on. Fender bender. Fender bender. Fender bender. Fender bender. Everybody remain calm. No reason to panic. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. In Water Valley, see your good neighbor agent, Andy Epps, for your insurance and financial needs. State Farm. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area. A way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. Fisher Properties is now better than ever. The number one real estate team in Water Valley joins the number one real estate brand in the world. Remax Legacy Realty. Call Sherry Fisher or Tony Hill at 473-4503. We're back, 829 to go in the third. And this one may get out of hand, Chad. Uh, so we still, Independence has got the lead now, 14 to six over North Panola. Wow, wow, wow. 
Dre McCray gets a foot into the ball, and it's down to the 18-yard line, 16-yard line. It'll be tackled down around the 33, and that's where the Hawks will take over. Number 14, Lillian Phelps will return for the return. Tackled by number 15, Marion Morgan. Scores from around the region in the third quarter. Independence, 14, North Carolina, 6. <laughs> that got a response. Got a, a pretty big response yeah. out of the crowd. Nat just announced the current score for <laughs> Independence over North Panola. Boy, what a huge win quarter. that would be for Richard Russo Absolutely, up there. Man. And I'm telling you, they're not bad. I told him after the game, y'all are playing some good football mm -hmm. with average players. Yep. You know? And That's he agreed. Can. He said, listen, I'm afraid to tell anybody, our talent level is not anywhere near anybody else. We just play yep. hard. That's some good coaching, too, though, on his part. Exactly. He's probably a little humble and wouldn't take the credit on that. Right. He's got some good schemes. I mean, let's face yep. it. He's got good players in key positions, and they, yep. they three, their scheme is to make you play at your weakness, right? So, you know, remember he told us. He told he us a couple to, of things. He said we knew where we were going and where we were going. Yeah. Yeah. If we're in RPO, he's going to make us throw the ball. That's our weakness, you know, at this point. So, yep. he said, uh, you know, and at least we have a chance that way. Yep. So, and they did. They, they very well should have won that ball game last week, but nevertheless, they're up now. Pitch out to number three this time, and he got tripped up yeah. coming through the line. He picked up a couple. He that got about three, three yeah. so it'll be third about five. Number 22, Kel McIntosh tripped him up. Kel was actually on the ground, not all the way laying down, but on the ground when he grabbed his feet. Clock is 7:14. Man, it seems like the third quarter just won't move <laughs> every week. Yeah, third quarter is usually the longest. So we got a trips bunch out there on the right side, and they pitch it to number three around the right side, and he did not get he it fourth close. and two. Yeah, he's maybe be about too short, I think. Number three, long the ball carry. Yeah, fourth and well, one yeah, and a half, a less than two. Yeah. Maybe, maybe just a little over one. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll call it fourth and one. Wow. Marion comes on. Tolbert yeah, comes out. Looks like he's dragging his left arm him, a little bit. Yeah, kind of gimpy shoulder. Yeah. Maybe he's got a stinger. Yeah. Those happen time to time. I remember my first stinger. <laughs> We're playing that stupid bull in the ring so throughout. What's wrong? You'll be all right. Rope's I thought I was dying. I thought I was right. paralyzed for life. So they go forward on they fourth and they one. Got they got it. Man, they just good effort right there. Good push. And uh, the Hawks move the chains. They haven't moved those Marcus chains Smith. very much lately. Yeah. Well, so First Andy Epps off. and uh, State Farm do the Offensive Player of the Week, and then uh, Farm Chuck, Bureau does the – uh, Chuck yeah. Upchurch does the Defensive Player of the Week. We need to lobby a so couple is it, of So is players. it possible to get both? <laughs> <laughs> like well, the Micah Hervey could he get this both sides of the ball, yeah. But Rockets interception may have thrown yeah. him out of the, the loop on defense. Pass out to the far side is no good. Pass Man, this guy right here at 66 is on the ground a lot. Yeah. He's limping around a little yeah. bit. Hey just I think they're kind of getting beaten banged right yeah. now. Yeah. You know, we talked about that early. And then now 66 is a is a big fella. 63 and 37, I believe. Those are some big guys. But our guys are pretty good size there in the middle, too. And with a team as small as there, some of those guys are, you know, playing on both sides of the ball. I mean, we're playing on both sides of the ball, and they're even, you know, less numerous than we are. Right. So nobody out here on the near side. They just run it off guard, and he picked ran into up his six. guy. Yeah. They picked up five yards real quick, and now Number three, they've got a third and five. I mean, it was second ten, and just yeah. just like that, it's manageable and again. He, yeah, he could have even gotten a couple of more, but he ran straight into the back of one of his players. Tolbert comes back in for Morgan. I'll tell you, that stinger, man, I got it down my right arm, and I remember thinking, I'm done with football. <laughs> for about 10 or 15 seconds, I was right. done with football. <laughs> and then you rub dirt on it. <laughs> exactly. Coach is like, oh, shut up. Get out there. 
for three carries oh, this time. He got a yard before he was he went pulled off. Backwards. And that oh, was that's Tolbert. Number three, the ball carry, tackled by number 29, Darius Tolbert. I got Tolbert a, just came back in the game. I got a singer one time. We were playing Walnut, and they had a they had a fullback about the size of Kai Hervey. And I hit, and I'm, now I was not nearly this big in high school. I weighed about 205, and I hit six, him. What, six four, six three. I'm man, about six. Well, in high school, actually, it was only about six one, maybe, um, and weighed about 205. But I hit that kid. Oh my gosh, had a. Had a stinger for a few days. Man, that, that stinks. And we got a timeout on the field. We'll take a break and be back after it's over. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Tri Lake Eye Clinic is proud to support the Water Valley Blue Devils. Dr. Edwards and his staff realize that teamwork is important not only in sports, but in bringing you the best eye care possible. Dr. Edwards is teamed with Zeiss VisuCam to bring the most advanced diagnostic imaging system to the area. The Zeiss OCT detects glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic eye disease earlier than any previous instrument in eye care. Tri Lake Eye Clinic, seeing in better so you can see out better. C.W. White Incorporated Petroleum Products and Water Valley supports Blue Devil football and academics, selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for over 60 years. C.W. White offers local express ethanol and non-ethanol gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street in Water Valley. Also additional locations of local express and Sunoco fuels in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis, and Sanatobia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. If you're looking for a gift that is personalized, one of a kind, far from the ordinary, and reasonably priced, the other room has just what you're looking for. Custom orders for any occasion are Kay's specialty. Holly Springs is in the, the whole team eye formation. <laughs> Did you see that? They were all in a line like they were shaking hands. Not real sure that was legal. <laughs> you got to have some folks on the line of scrimmage. Now they kind of got a pistol formation. They hand it off coming back to the other side. Rocket should have oh, had him, but nice play right there. But who's that, Ty Morgan? That's yeah. Ty. yeah. Wow. Good Rocket stop. overran him yeah. and couldn't stop. Ty stopped him from the other side of the, um, the field, yeah. offense, or defense, too. Yep. So fourth down. Or no, that's a turnover on down. Yep, that's right. That was down. fourth down. So Blue Devils get the ball at their own 46 yard line. I love Dewberry get, taking a knee down there uh, for the play call. It just looks neat. I don't know where he picked that up or if they made him do it or something, but it, it, it looks pretty cool. Well, if you look at those guys behind him, they're all bigger than him. They might have said, Dewberry, get down. Get down so I can see. <laughs> Colby better watch out. He's yeah. going to get <laughs> – Corey might – you know how you walk up to your buddy and you put a knee in the back of their knee mm. and make them fall? <laughs> Might get one of them. All right. One second. We're not going to get this ball off. We're going to get a delay of game. See? Get the – now, that wasn't we, – we got that ball off before the – but still, right why, I looked up and there was one second on the clock, and that's just – that's ridiculous in that type of situation. You know, call a play. Let's get it in. Let's go. We gotta be. We gotta Should manage not take better. Take that long to get a play in when we get right. the ball. We had 45 seconds, or what was it 25 yeah. in that situation? Why can't you tell Jacob the play before he gets out there in that well, case? Look, now there's 11 seconds. Yep. Yeah. So a dead ball is a 25 plot, right? Right. So Demica gets it around the left side. He's he beat a man, and now he's up the sideline. One man he to just, beat, really. Yeah. And he gets caught and drug out of bounds at about yeah. the 28. No, 32. <laughs> Yeah. If that guy had held on, I think that would have been a horse collar, too. But he wisely, wisely let go. Well, you can tell Holly Springs is tired in the secondary, tired up front. And, you know, they just can't get to the outside anymore and get off their blocks like they were in well, the first quarter. I don't know if you ever played on a team that lost a lot. I did when I <laughs> – I played it on Miss, Chad. <laughs> I played it more of my ninth and tenth grade year. In each of those years, we won one game. And it gets demoralizing yeah. because, I mean – not just physically, you get tired so, of getting whipped. Emotionally, yeah. you just get tired of getting so whipped. You start games with good yeah. intentions, but yeah. then whenever it gets, you're just like, okay, yeah. same song, yeah. tired of singing it. Dre McCray up the middle. He got a few oh, yards. He ran into our guy, too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He, may, he got close to the first. He's going to be short. about a yard short, it looks like. 
But yeah, I mean, at Ole Miss, now, we didn't have bad years, you know. We, we would lose like six games, right? right. And I think maybe but back one then year you only played 10 or 11, though, right? 11 or 12, yeah. 11 games, yeah. that's right. So we, we would win four or five, you right. know. And then that year, my senior year, we won like seven or eight. Was that 97? Like 97. Yeah. We went to the Motor City Bowl. Yeah. So it wasn't bad, you know. I've never yeah. been on a team that just was pounded like, you know, Holly Springs or what you're talking about. Swing pass out to Chance, and it was just underthrown. Hit the dirt. Yeah, I can't imagine being on some of those teams that you just every week you know. Yeah. You're walking down the hall on game day. <laughs> <laughs> well, on. the kids don't think much of you. The fans don't think much of you. Of course, every parent in the stand knows how to coach the team better than the coach doing it. You know what I mean? So, in their minds, they do anyway. So, it, get, <laughs> it gets real hard. Now, with Facebook, it's got to be even worse. Yeah. Social media has got to be – I mean, I, Coach Emery, he don't even do that stuff. Dre McCray right up the middle, first down, easy. And now they blow the whistle. He didn't even go. Uh, now he goes down. Mm -hmm. And, look, this guy's still tackling him, still wrapping him up. It's a little excessive. The whistle blew. Let go. <laughs> he kind of got up, fired up, too. Yeah. You know, it's not often that the offensive player stands over the defensive player and looks down at him. But there was a little bit of that going on from Dre. Yeah. Rightfully so. Dre comes out, DeMichael goes in. I'm loving the rotation right now. I like the in and out, the in and out. DeMichael two plays, Dre two plays. You know, yeah. I like the mix up. Keeping our guys fresher too. And so hand off to DeMichael, left side. Right, right side. He's, oh, there's a hole. I think they're going to be a hold on That's that. That's going to be on, uh, who's out Number there? Cahill. The yeah. It happened so fast, like hit the flag was on the ground before I even realized what happened, or like who was doing. Hold. Yeah. He's coming back. Wow. Man. Two minutes and 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. We're yeah. still in the third quarter. We got down and only, I mean, that's about a nine yard, would have been about a nine yard pickup. So while we're just sitting here, last week, uh, North Panola beat by Helia. Senatobia beat Holly Springs 31-0. Now we're up 28, and we still got a quarter to play. Yeah. Well, and Senatobia so, is over by Helia 21 to nothing right now. So I would not have really expected that. Well, you know that you know how matchups are different. Right. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, you know, first down and we may match up with Senatobia way differently than we've right. matched up, you know, with Senato. I mean, with by Helia. Right. Jacob's looking to throw it. He throws it deep to Rocket. Rocket has got it, but is he out of bounds? No. no he he got it. In? Are you kidding me? Nice. Wow. He's inside the 10, down to about the five-yard line. Nice bring in right there. He just caught it over his shoulder as he was going out of bounds and evidently had a, had a foot in. Down to the five-yard line. Oh, and we're like three stooges looking around the <laughs> head over head, you know. When will they learn? When hey, you know, if this thing, if this thing would pivot and turn to face the play, yep. that would be sweet. So Trust has got Demica with him. Got Rocket in motion. He's gonna hand it off to Demica Hervey right off guard. And uh, yeah, about the three, he got a couple down to about the three, about yeah. Now Dre McCray comes in. See, this is a situation I thought Dre would have been in anyway, you know. But this, this feels like Dre right but here. But I like I like it mixing it up yeah. on you know first Absolutely. first and goal because you put Demike in, they think outside, and then he ran inside. Mm -hmm. Now I wouldn't mind. Look at all the open field to, to the, the left, left. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've got 40 yards of wide open football field right there. Like, who do you want to score with? So, I think Jacob Truss is going to carry this in and with Dre as a lead blocker. Yeah. So, he puts uh, Grant in motion well, to the Grant left. In. And yeah. then, look, Jake, yeah, yeah, yeah Jacob's yeah, just going to yeah, keep yeah, himself yeah. up the middle, though. Why? Why? He had, look, had so much room and so yeah. many blocks out there in front of him. Uh, there was a hole there for a minute, though. And I saw what he kind of saw. But uh, 
Like as soon as you saw the hole, it closed. It closed, right, yeah. right. And he, had out. he stayed outside, had he bounced it out after I he. I think he could have gotten around. Right, yeah. if he took a step up and then out, right. it would have been an easy walk in. Because that linebacker would have folded back underneath like yep. he did. Two, third and two from the, or third and goal from the two. So Dre is with him. He's going to throw it up, just throw it in the air to Darius. And he's no good. It came a good play right there by number eight. Yeah. He good jumped up, got a play. hand on the ball. Yep. Fourth and goal. They're going to kick a field goal. Yeah, we're bringing in Surrett for the extra point, basically. But it is from the right hash, Chad. Is that a good thing or a bad yeah, it's, thing? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a question mark. You know what I mean? Because you say you you're tend not to used to it's turn an a little differently, deal. right? And you just you, when you get back, you feel like you're off. You know what I mean? And you're like, wow, this I'm not lined up right. So when you feel off kilter, you kind of you, you may you, you may, may miss adjustment, right? Yeah. You may over adjust or not adjust enough, whatever. So see if John can uh, overcome. It's not an easy field goal. So the snap is back. It's down, and he just he boosted through. Wasn't a good hold. Uh, I'm, I can't believe Ethan still has a hand because <laughs> his hand was still holding the ball, and that's why it didn't go very far. But he made it. 31. Now, look, we have tied the score from uh, their, their ball game last week with Senatobia. So, Water Valley up 31 to zip. We'll take a break. Be back for the kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. Score Independence 21, North Panola 12. Okay. Uh, All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. 21-12 is your score up in, in uh, North, North Panola right now. Sardis, yeah. yeah, they're getting beat at home. Good kick well, right here out of Dre. Well, I think beat him at home, too. That ball is in the end zone. Oh, no, no that can't, you can't return that. It was on about the one. No, he, he fielded it in the end zone. Oh, Like, okay. he ran yeah. back in the end zone. Okay. That's, that's a touchback. That's what you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Well, you can – you can, but it's a touchback. Right. You know, if you don't possess – Like, he shouldn't have even now, come out. Had he possessed it outside, he can run it out. Right. But I didn't think he possessed it like until he was in the end zone. Like, if his momentum pulled him in and he right. could come back out. Right. Yeah. Like, so if he possesses the ball before he gets in the end zone, he can bring it out. But if he does not not fully have control of it until he gets in the end zone, it's a touchback. So we got a man down, but he's not. That's uh, that's to Micah. He just kind of threw his helmet. Or is that Keldrick? I'm trying to see. Is that 22 or 23? That looks like 22. That's Keldrick. You know, that's that same ankle, I think, is a couple. He's got a big brace in there, taped up pretty good. But remember, he hurt his ankle a couple of weeks ago. And uh, not bad, but it's just kind of lingering, you know. But uh, he's coming out here. His night will be done. Yeah. And uh, well, no and biggie. No. Certainly give him a little bit of a rest. And hopefully, you know, seven days is enough between here and there, uh, um, North Panola. So King uh, gets the ball. He's looking to throw it. He's going to throw it. Dead gum. Marion Morgan, uh, who yeah. really – it wasn't near his man, but the ball wasn't near his right, man, you yeah. know? It was way It was inside, inside yeah. you know. But uh, it ended up being good coverage right there. Yeah, they got a guy. Yeah, he's, he got up now. Yeah. He's just, they're tired, worn out, mentally worn out. Well, it's been a long third quarter, man. <laughs> you know, we we actually talked about that earlier. It's it's, it's still here, man. Yeah. It seems like it's twelve o'clock. So 
A whole bunch formation right off the end of the, the line, and he throws back over the ah. middle. And that was almost picked. I think that was a yeah. good job by Darius right yeah. there coming across. Chris Harris was had an outside position, yeah. so the, the receiver actually had good position to yeah, catch the ball. Absolutely. But Darius yeah. coming across threw him off, I think. Kind of, you know, in your peripheral vision, it you know, you see something you weren't expecting. Right. He's got yeah. her footsteps. Yep. Yeah, I think had Darius not been there, that could have been a different outcome there. Yeah. It messed up our quarter. That's right. We're up to 19 in um, 30 seconds if we can keep them yeah. scoreless here. So, same formation. He's looking to throw it right side. And, oh, look. We got lucky on that. Rocket stopped. The receiver turned right, and the ball was just thrown a little bit out of his reach. Yep. So fourth down, Holly Springs is going to have to punt, and that'll that'll pretty much all but seal unless we drop it and they pick it up and run. You know, right? That'll. And what I'm talking about is that oh, they have not quarters. scored but one yeah. touchdown in the last 18 quarters, and you know, in close to 30 seconds, and, yeah. 25.8 seconds, it'll be 19. And I bet if we went back and looked, that one touchdown was probably in trash time. Right. Well, now that's what I'm saying. We that game we only won 14 to six. So Darius has got it. Running up the middle. Oh, hold that ball. Switching the ball. Nice job, Marion. Just letting go and get they get to there. We got a flag down back I here. I think it's going to be on them. Yeah. We had in the version of what what we would call extracurricular going on there in the middle. Two of their guys, Let's two see. of our guys. He's talking to Parker Todd about it right now. Parker's uh, kind of like, what, what? Uh, so it may be on us. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. The body language told us all we needed. Right. <laughs> he told Parker what was wrong, and Parker's like, holding, holding. Yep. Well, not that it hurts right now, right. but we, we're trying to clean that stuff up, and we just can't quit doing it. Yeah. Maybe everybody but the no, receivers. Look, Chance got Dre doing it. <laughs> <laughs> got Dre taking a knee. <laughs> it does two things. It gives you a little rest, yeah. takes your weight off your legs. That's right. Helps the other guys see the play. <laughs> so Dre McCray will be in the slot. I'm assuming they'll put him in motion. Him or Rocket one. Rocket's in the slot on the far side. Yeah, they put Dre in motion. He goes around. Oh, nice fake. Oh, nice play fake. Now he's going to throw it to Rocket, who's wide open. He got the catch at the 20. No, they say no good. I think, so. I think he trapped it. Uh, I don't know. I, if we had replay on that, I bet you he caught that ball. It looked like he had that right hand under it. Wow. I thought that was a catch. Okay. We got confirmation from the official in the booth said it was a it bounced. So I, I trust that man. Between, yeah, I'm odd man out on that one, so. It did look like right here, it, 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 I think he trapped it. I had just the right, you know, angle. Can't prove it because, you know, Bob is not going to replay that, but. <laughs> so there's Dewberry in motion this time, and uh, we're looking to throw it quick out to Dewberry, and he gets none. Uh, he may have gotten three. Yeah, he got about 20 yards outside and about three yards down the field. <laughs> All right, into the third quarter, you score 31 to 0 in favor of Water Valley. We'll take a break. When we get back, we'll be ready for the fourth. You're watching Blue Dog Football. Midtown Auto Parts, your car quest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy duty vehicles, custom made hydraulic hoses for the farm, and heavy duty equipment. Three and four wheeler parts and small engine parts too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of KN air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m., six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts, the real parts store. Fisher Properties is now better than ever. The number one real estate team in Water Valley joins the number one real estate brand in the world. Remax Legacy Realty. Call Sherry Fisher or Tony Hill at 473-4503. Third down and seven. Swing pass out to Demica Hervey. Oh, he wants to bring it back this way. Almost got tackled twice. A helmet comes off. 
of uh, one of the Hawk guys, but DeMica, look, they're spotting him back here at the 26. That's going to be real close to the first down. 27, wow. Fourth and one. Got to go, got to go, got to go. And Water Valley is going to go for it. I think we There's should. No I mean, I know the score, here. right? I mean, the score Fourth is and one is yeah. not a big deal, and no. the score is not close. So, no. uh, Let's see what we got. Jacob Truss is going to run this one. I hope. Throw it to him. He hands it off to Demike Harvey yeah. right in the middle, big hole. Demike still got the ball, fighting for more yards. And they find they need to blow the whistle now. There yeah. we go. He got it to the 15. So Number first down 20, easily. That's the farm bureau, first down. Boo-Boo is a little tired. He needs to come on. We need to pull a couple of these guys out. Start pulling them out like Boo-Boo is coming. He needs to maybe come out. Maybe Darius, too. You Get know, him told a little him. rest. Yeah, there, now Dar Darius comes out. There you go. And uh, really, I'd put uh, Hayden Eubanks in for uh, Rocket. I think I'd take Grant out, too, especially with him playing linebacker. Oh, yeah, put Chance back in. There's no need right now. So first and 10 from the 15. Trust gets the ball, hands off the rocket around the right side. He's got Dre lead block. Good blocking out there by Kai Hill Houston. Oh but they're going to throw a flag on Kai Hill. That was actually good blocking. That, that, now that burns me up. They got two, three guys, two guys laying down there. Yeah. Well, I thought Kai Hill did a good job that time of blocking and not hold. And they called hold. And they called hold. And I swear, and I think that's who they, they threw it right there where he was. I, that just burns me up. Because now I know he was probably guilty once or twice, but not there. I didn't feel like he had, uh, I didn't see anything. There was no hands outside. Didn't see any hands on his, like holding, pulling so, him. Darius Tolbert back in, Rockets in the slot. And Houston still out there wide right. And uh, Dre McCray in the backfield. And your boy Grant still in at H. And uh, that was the other change. Quick throw, slant, quick slant mm. to Darius. And look, that's yeah. just a good, good pass break up by number 14. Broken up by number 14, Phelps. Numan Phelps. Yeah, that was just a good play. But you know, that's that's the difference between a college receiver and a high school receiver. And Darius can very well get there quickly. You catch that ball and drag him with you. Catch it and secure it quickly. Yeah. And that just comes with passes, catching more passes. So trips left. Grant's in the uh, middle of the trips over here. Uh, slot right. And we're going to swing it out to Rocket. Wow, it went way over his head. Somebody yelled. <laughs> I think it was his dad. Yeah. And Jacob's like, he heard it. That he sounded very like, father. That sounded very father. father like. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like me and watching Lillian play uh, volleyball uh, two nights ago when they they beat Amory. You know, she had a couple of. She just played bad. Uh, her and Maris both, I felt like, played bad in the in the third set. We lost mm -hmm. the third set. And she was missing some easy kills, and I was like, "Lillian, what are you doing?" Was it just a timing yeah. thing, or uh, you know, she had man, she's been on fire this yeah. year, and just for some reason she missed two or three in a row, and I was like, "What is going on? Did you break her wrist or something?" But they got it back and won the match. So, all right, Trust is going to get it, throw it down the sideline to uh, Houston or right? Is that Rocket? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just broken up. That was Houston, that was Houston out there. Houston, yeah. So fourth down, we got to go for it. It's out of field goal range down. Oh, is it? Uh, I don't know. No need to get John out there at this point. It would be a 45-yarder again. Yeah, I mean, he probably could make it too, but there's just no need right now. Uh, 9.53 to play in the game. Up by 31. Throw one up at the end zone to Tolbert. Let's see if he can pull it in. He's looking towards Houston again. Or nice Grant. Mm. And uh, just overthrown. Yeah, just a little out. Well, Grant was kind of tiptoeing looking for the ball yeah, instead of really sprinting down the field. And I think that was a timing issue yeah, with was, the absolutely. receiver. Yep. 
I'd rather that ball be thrown where it was than short. Yep. You know, because there was he was double covered, which kind of makes me think, why are we throwing it that way anyway in a double coverage instead of throwing it one on one out here with Tolbert? Right. Nevertheless, Hawks get the ball on the turnover on downs and uh, we'll have to play some more defense. It's a little chilly, Chad, I was going to say earlier, but I forgot. But, man, it's finally football yeah. weather, you feels, know? Feels like it feels football. like it's getting there anyway. Yeah. I remember we had games late in the year down in South Mississippi that were just unbearably cold. Pass over the middle to big boy, number Ooh. 37. He, nobody's guarding him. <laughs> I mean, who would have thunk it? Yeah. <laughs> who had the biggest guy out there? <laughs> the slowest, biggest guy wasn't covered. That's, that's when you probably have, why he wasn't covered. Right. That's why you, that, in the huddle, that's when one of the guys says, well, nobody had him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on our roster. Maybe a different jersey for a road jersey or something. <laughs> first down for the Hawks at their own 46. It's a lot left. They kind of like a little, I don't even know what you call that. It's like that little bunch formation yeah. out here. They're throwing it down the sideline. And that one is just Ooh. out of the reach of the receiver. And uh, again, they're Man. throwing it Marion. And, yeah. and then the receiver had a step too. He did, he sure did. Just one more half step and he would have had the ball. Well, that's just, I think you got to press them. You got to press them on the outside and make, you know, that pass has got to be, because he's expected to throw that ball long. You know, if you jam him up yep. a little bit, even for a you know, quarter second, that disrupts the timing. Yep. That quarterback has to throw a pass. Maybe he's not used to throwing. He's got to throw it lower. He's got to throw it shorter. All right, second 10. Shotgun formation. He hands off this time to the the back. The back gets about. Oh, he's he almost made the 45 of Water Valley. Mm. Got they're giving him the 47. I thought he got a little closer than that. I thought he got the 46. A little short changer. But whoa, that was a terrible spot. <laughs> Did we actually get a good spot in our favor? Yeah. <laughs> It should be fourth down yeah, is that's what, what Brad Emory is saying. But I think he's – no, that's that's third down. Yeah. Because they threw the uh, – uh, they uh, they threw that pass to Marion on first down. Yeah. Because big boy got the first down. Right. Yeah. So slot receiver to the left. Bunch formation on the right. Looking to throw it out to number three in the slot. And he got hit. Good, for, good. Yep. Ooh, yep. almost got it ripped. He got the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Micah Hervey, good, you know, good stop there. Hervey's playing some defense, man. He's everywhere tonight. He's like Keldrick. You know, when Keldrick was healthy the first couple of weeks, he's out there right now, but he's not 100%, you know. But DeMica's just all over the field like like uh, Keldrick was the first two or three games. Remember that game up there? Uh, the first Ripley? Yeah, yeah, man, he just he started that whole – that whole win right there, he just, he started it. Pass over the middle to Big Boy again, and guess who got it? He's got some hands, y'all. First down. Why have they not been throwing to him? I don't know, but he has caught everything thrown at him tonight. That was a pretty good underhand spiral to the referee there he threw, too. <laughs> now he's almost as, as big as uh, some of our linemen. Yeah. Trying to think perspective-wise, I don't know who he really. I mean, he's he's probably not quite as big as number 78 Woodard. So they're looking at him again, but he's covered this time. King's just going to run it out of bounds. Stop the clock. 7:14 to play. 31 zip. Your score. That's a loss of about let's see five, four or five. And well, can we keep them out for another quarter? Second, second about 13. Look, they gave him some yards back. It was about four or five yards, and now they, they brought it back, Chad. That's crazy. Often wonder, like, 
what formula do they use in some of those cases? Because I'm not real sure that they put it where it was down. So he's got two split backs, one on each side, slot receiver to the left, and he's looking that way. He's going to hum it up. Oh, Rocket Way, almost yeah. broke on that one. That was, a, that was so bad of a throw that it fooled Rocket, too. <laughs> That's a third and 13. Correction, third down. There you go. <laughs> well, this is where you got to show up, third and 13. Trips left. Big boy right. <laughs> big boy right. I think that's how they call it. Trips left, big boy right. We're going to look that way. Now he may get sacked. Look, he's get, he's in trouble. He's got three Blue Devils on him. He throws it to 37, but uh, yeah, number he nine, could be Chris accurate. Chris Harris was on number 37, and there were about five Blue Devils chasing him, chasing the quarterback. Fourth down and 13 for the Hawks. Yeah. Do it now. Okay. All right. All right. Fourth down right here. Hawks have got to go for it. You can't punt. Four, four but it's. Final, by Hayek, zero. Wow. So fourth down right here. Fourth and 13 for the Hawks. Hey, now they got bunch right, slot left. Same formation. See, King gets the ball. He's looking left immediately. And he just hums it up. Marion's got a good coverage on him, and he almost picked it. Ooh, but he's got a flag. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, my gosh. That was nowhere that was near coverage. pass interference. That was just great coverage. That's what we've been wanting all year. Out of Marion. Great coverage in Marion, and he gets penalized for great coverage. No, I'm going to tell him, Monday, that was great coverage on that play. That was great coverage. And I think our fans are right. Uh, there is a penalty marker on the play holding against the defense. Yeah. Well. First time he covers good, and they throw. That was good coverage. Oh. Oh. First. Uh, was it a first down? No, it'll be, uh, let's see, fourth and about four. Fourth and about four for the Hawks. So, Devils still have a chance to stop it right here. Still there? Yeah. So, Big Blue needs to come up big right here. Same, form yeah, same formation. King's looking to throw. Looking to throw out towards Chris Harris in the end zone. Oh, Chris. See, now Chris was all over the guy and didn't get a flag. Yeah. <laughs> he Crazy. was all over his back, didn't get a flag, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Turnover on downs. We'll take a break and be back for the Blue Devil possession after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. Complete body repair. They do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing. Free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays 8 till 5. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. 
Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drug Store on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. All right, we're back. Blue Devils have got the ball headed the other way. So that's Chris Harris running the ball around the right side. Man, he's got some speed too. Look at it. Woo, look at that first down. That was a speedy. Looks like he was shot out of a cannon down there. How much time was on the clock in that North Panola game? Says less than four minutes. Less than four. Wow. 21-12 still. All right, first and 10 for the Blue Devils. Mario Morgan in the slot. Lafayette out wide, and he's still looking to get the call. And <laughs> Jacob's just going to keep it himself and run it off the left side. He got maybe a ball. Number 16, Jacob Trust, ball carrier. I don't think Lafayette ever got the play call. He was yeah. looking. He, the whole play was over, and he was still looking for the call. <laughs> I love little funny things like that in a football game. You're like, hey, man, what, hey. What's, the, what's the play? Don't worry about it. Just stay there. You got it. <laughs> Tell him a story. Yeah. Tell him his shoe's untied. <laughs> hey, man. See if both of your socks are the same shade of pink. <laughs> Oh, Chris Harris in the backfield with uh, Jacob. He's going to hand it off to Chris coming this side, near side. Chris runs. Oh, he, he yeah, bounces it out. He almost got it. Tried to bounce it, but it was a bounce back instead of out. Yeah. And uh, not a bad decision right there because it wasn't much uh, straight ahead of it. Maybe a yard. So third and about nine. With four minutes remaining in the ball game, Independence 21, North Panola 12. <laughs> yeah, he's got some independent fans this week. <laughs> All right, third down. Blue Devils need to come up with something here. Truss is going to look to throw it out in the slot to Marion. He had to jump and just yeah. got tacked. I mean, it's two yeah. or three yard gain, yeah. but way too man, short. Had that ball been thrown a little lower, and you put a move on the guy, who knows? He's yeah. gone a long way. Marion is fast, so Blue Devils will have to punt. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the second punt of the game for the Blue Devils. Yeah. Second punt. We punted early in the first quarter. And uh, no, third punt. I'm sorry. Yeah, third punt because Colby, he punted once that way, once this That's way. Right. Yep, yep. I remembered one. He had that good spiral punt yeah. this yep. way. So that had to be the second quarter, right? Yeah. I know he punted in the first quarter. So this one hangs up, hits at the 40, and gets down to about the 42. Mm, 37. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm counting the wrong way. 37. 38. Wow, they marked it at 37. That's right. Grant's got to learn that he's got to go around the ball and pick it up. And, and pull it, <laughs> yeah. Know, pick it up towards you. Don't mess with it. No, I'm saying is that's what I'm saying. Don't pick mess it up with on, it either. Pick it up. Pick it up on that side of yeah. the ball yeah. instead of your side. Little tips and tricks. Maybe get him a yard. Four minutes and one second left in the ball game. Tolbert comes out. New Jersey's coming in. Eubanks coming in on comes in on defense. Yeah, the Devils are gonna have to. Keep, keep Holly Springs out of the end zone. They're looking to throw it. King's going to run it this time. Nice play uh, right there by stumbled. number three Q. Yeah. Carruthers, I mean, he put a move on Q, and Q found his feet and his balance and still – and then he, he the quarterback lost yeah. his balance yeah. because he, he knew he, wasn't jer he, he didn't juke him good enough. Down second and five for the Hawks. I think it's quiet. You can hear the coaches down there talking. 
I heard him do beer. Do beer. All right. Second about five, four. King steps up. And, oh, he's oh. hit from behind by number 72. Isaac Phillips. Good pick. Quarterback. Nice play right there by Isaac. Less than three minutes, man, the clock's rolling. We're watching this uh, update over here. <laughs> It'll... It's getting real for North Panola. Yeah. Two minutes left to go. Two minutes. All right, here we go. King has got him by. He throws it over the middle too high for anybody to catch. I keep seeing number five out there, and that's uh, Say Say Freeman. And I keep wanting to say yes, that's Bud. Hey, where did Bud come from? <laughs> He's a little shorter than Bud. Just a little. Not much. He's probably about, what, three inches? Of course, Bud was tall. They're going, they're going to have to punt. Look at this. Blue Devil defense is uh, held with, with some, uh, some fresh jerseys. Yeah. I like it. So we have Kiki back, Kiki Rucker back. He needs to come up some. <laughs> there it is. Come on up. Let it hit. Oh, let it go now. No, just get away, get away, get away. There we go. So, uh, Devils will have the ball on the 26. And it's getting a little chilly up here in the box. Might have to shut a window or two here in a minute. Well, y'all got your windows open, and so I'm, you know, got enough of the air. Of course, I'm looking through a dirty window in front of me. I can't quite get These the front. These windows haven't been washed since they put them up. Yeah, I don't know how you clean the front. Yeah. Lean out with these a squeegee. Will, you can take these windows out, yeah. I think, if they're like mine. Flag down. It's going to be on Holly Spring. It's going to be a sportsman like. Is it? Or is that just a no? I didn't see them. The actually ball's on the signal. 26, and they moved it to the 41. That's the that's 15. 15. That's yeah. the yeah. personal foul. Ball started the 41 yard line, first and 10, two levels. So John Sred in at the slot receiver. Keith Carruthers comes in. Marion Morgan's running the show at quarterback. Sorette out here. So he hands off to Q. Q is off guard for about four yards. Yeah. Wow, nice look at that. Early pickup there. Yeah. Quick hitter for four. Number three, Q Carruthers. We'll call it five, Chad. Look at him. Five yards on the play. Staying ahead of the chains for us. So your line is pretty much basically the same. Still, well, you got uh, got a couple of switches. Center from last week's back in at center. So Morgan yeah, ties yeah. back out. Chase King still at left guard. Right guard, you have oh number sixty one Jones. Headed off to Q Carruthers, and he has got another two or three yards. Yeah. Hey, he got loose. They still didn't get him down. They just blew the whistle. We always have a short, small, fast as lightning running back. Ball game. Ball game, is that it? No, I mean, it, it, it will be. What I'm saying is Independence just intercepted the ball. Oh, how much time? One minute left to go. Independence just intercepted the ball. Wow. All right. Hey, D-Banks in motion. Marion checks back, looks at the sideline to get a new signal. 12 on the clock, play clock. One minute to go in the game. Snaps back. He's going to carry it himself. Oh, nice. He shook a tackle. First down Whoa! and more. Mario's gone. Oh, That's going to be a 52 yard. yard touchdown. Wow. He just shook his guy at the line of scrimmage and took off. Gone. Nice. That's a that's good for Mario. I, <laughs> even when he does good, he's been penalized for it. Right. You know, and then, man, that was a good play right there. Not a boy, Marion. 45 seconds left to go in the game, and he took it to the house. He's got the longest run of the night. <laughs> 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 
He hit the hole quick, too. It wasn't no playing around. He was full speed and three steps. Mr. is over here showing out, too. So hold is down. The kick is up and good. That brings the score to 38 to zero in favor of Water Valley. We'll take a break and be back for the kickoff. Red and finish watching Blue Devil football. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. Fisher Properties is now better than ever. The number one real estate team in Water Valley joins the number one real estate brand in the world. Remax Legacy Realty. Call Sherry Fisher or Tony Hill at 473-4503. If you're looking for a gift that is personalized, one of a kind, far from the ordinary, and reasonably priced, the other room has just what you're looking for. Custom orders for any occasion are Kay's specialty. Well. Coach Mix gives the fist <laughs> up. <laughs> they just announced that uh, North Panola has lost to Independence. Coach Russo did his work and uh, a couple of fist pumps out of some of the coaches. <laughs> Coach Mix still talking about it. Look at him. <laughs> oh, short kick right here. Hits the ground. Picked up by number 35 for Holly Springs. And he's going to be brought down. And, well, well, sometime tonight. Eventually, we're going to get him on the ground. Well, I mean, if they just let him keep chugging, we would probably 35. run the clock out. You know? on the return for the Hawks. So, Blue Devils just got to make a couple of stops here. 36.1 seconds left in the game. And we'll take this to 20 quarters with Hawks one score against by the Hawks. Boy, don't you know Russo is having – they're probably tearing the goalpost down in, maybe, in North Panola right now. Russo may be doing it himself. Yeah, he might be. We might get a picture of him on the front page mm -hmm. of a paper somewhere hanging off the upright. <laughs> That's a big, big, big yeah. win for them. Yeah, good for them too. That's, yeah, they have been – they got a kid on the field. Look, the field. No, we got a kid on the field at the 30-yard line. The referee saw it and blew the whistle. <laughs> Well, the game ain't over yet, buddy. <laughs> he just went and sat down on the. Somebody's in the stands like, oh, oh that's where's my McKee? baby? Yep. A swing pass out to number 17. He's going to be tackled. Let go, let go, let go. Yep. Pushed out of bounds, yep. really. So that's going to. No, they're keeping the clock running. Wow. Good. They kept the. He gave the signal to keep the clock running. And Hot Springs coach is kind of upset about it. Now they stopped the clock. Timeout. Time out. Are you kidding me? Time out on the field. Time really? I, I think I think I'm upset with him though. I, I thought that there's no need to blow that play dead inbounds. He got out of bounds without yeah. you know being forward progress being he shouldn't stopped. Shouldn't have had to have even called a timeout. But so 16 seconds left on the uh, clock. I think that's what they're kind of talking about him. You know, he's like, man, the game's over. I'm cold. I'm ready to go home. And he's like, yeah, I know, but you got to still do the right thing. <laughs> I could almost read your lips from here. I'd like to say thanks to the real sponsor for the 2019 season, Mechanics Bank, Valley Lumber, First Baptist Church, VNS Auburn, Austin, Bank, Wall Office of Tommy DeBerg. <laughs> Love my random text that I get. I have no idea what it was about because it's always like 20 minutes ago when it yeah. happened, you know. So second down, pretty much the last play of the game, maybe. Throw oh. it out. Wide open guy, number 23. So we got, uh, is that Avery Humphreys? He was down for a second. He's yeah. back up. But uh, they're going to mark him down. That was a good throw and catch. And he's Carruthers down. laid the wood to the quarterback. <laughs> Man, that was a good, good time. You know, it was, you know, sometimes they get you with your timing if you just don't let up at all. Q 
Hugh didn't have time to check up with the ball release, and he laid the wood to the quarterback. Well, hit him right on the hip. Water Valley's got, they got nine. No, that's the ball game. The, the that's clock the started ball. on the reset, and that's, that's right. it. Ball game. Ball game is over. 38 to zero is your score. Blue Devils are victorious. We'll uh, we'll take a break. When we get back, we'll do the Dunn's Country Store scoring summary. You're watching Blue Devil football. C.W. White Incorporated Petroleum Products and Water Valley supports Blue Devil football and academics, selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for over 60 years. C.W. White offers local express ethanol and non-ethanol gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street in Water Valley. Also additional locations of local express and Sunoco fuels in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis, and Senatobia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. Main Street Coffeeville Insurance is now First Choice Insurance. We take pride in our customer service. Our goal is to build long-term relationships with our clients through our experienced agents and the ease of doing business. It is our belief that people should be treated equally with the respect and patience they deserve. Great customer service before, throughout, and after the process is our main concern. We strive to give you the best insurance experience. First Choice has insurance to meet your family's needs. Joe Black and Associates Public Accountants located at 306 Railroad Street in Water Valley are proud supporters of Water Valley Blue Devil Athletics and Academics. Black and Associates wish the best for the Devils not only on the field but in the classroom, offering individual, business and estate tax planning and tax preparation, electronic filing, payroll and general accounting services. Telephone 473-1441 or 234-8921. The Blue Devil Score and Summary is sponsored by Dunn's Country Store on Highway 32 West in the Silverina Community. Features Hickory Smoke Barbecue, hand padded Never Frozen Hamburgers, Farm Raised Catfish, and their Cooked Order Ribeyes served each Friday and Saturday nights. All right, we're back. Water Valley is victorious, 38 to 0. It's time for the Dunn's Country Store Scoring Summary. Chad, it got busy after the first. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, goodness, this one's going to be longer <laughs> than the halftime, you know. But nonetheless, the first part is exactly the same. There was no scoring in the first quarter. A little bit of sparring, maybe we could call it that. But getting the scoring actually started off was Water Valley in the second quarter with 7 minutes and 31 seconds left to go. Number 16, Jacob Truss with a 38-yard touchdown pass to number 29, Darius Tolbert. The PAT, of course, was good, bringing your score to Water Valley 7, Holly Springs 0. With 58.2 seconds left to go in the, the second quarter, number 7, Martavius Rocket with a 24-yard touchdown run. John Surrett's PAT again was good, bringing your score at halftime to your Water Valley Blue Devils 14, Holly Springs Hawks standing at... Zero in the third quarter, very early in the third quarter. In fact, with 10 minutes and 28 seconds left to go in the third quarter, number 16, Jacob Truss with a 30 yard touchdown run, QB keeper. John Tourette's PAT again was good. Bringing your score to Water Valley 21, Holly Springs zero. With eight minutes and 29 seconds left to go in the, the third quarter, number seven, Martavius Rocket with a 78 yard pick six. All the way to the house. The PAT again was good. Bringing your score to Water Valley. Blue Devils 28. Holly Springs Hawks 0. With 45.5 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Number 41, John Tourette with the 10-yard field goal attempt. That was good. Bringing your score to Water Valley 31. And Holly Springs 0. Finishing the scoring off tonight. Actually, when we had quite a few new jerseys, or at least kids in different positions tonight. Late, late in the game. 45.4 seconds left to go. Number 15, Marion Morgan in at quarterback, keeping the ball himself, making a couple of really good moves for the 52-yard touchdown run. PAT was good. Bring your score to Water Valley. Blue Devils, 38. Holly Springs Hawks, zero. And that was the final score of the night. And I believe by our math, that puts them at about 20 quarters, 19 quarters uh, scoreless against 20, us. Well, 20 quarters with one score. With so one in the score. last 20 right. quarters, yeah. one there's score. only been one touchdown given up by the yep. Blue Devil defense. That's yep. So tonight I thought that, uh, I mean, we got better. Yeah. Uh, I thought I, I liked some of the moves, putting uh, Granite H and Ty moved back, him back to center 
It gives us a little bit, I think, more stability at those two positions yeah. and a little bit better packages. You know, Ty is used to that position. Yeah. I mean, he ran it all last year, and, and he got good at it too. So uh, the first quarter worried me, though. You know, I thought, oh, here we go again. We're going to get a tight game with a team we should be blowing out. Yeah. And uh, But true to form, I mean, you look at Holly Springs, we knew they were light coming up on the line of scrimmage. You know, it's just a matter of time before they wear down. Right. So, and that's what happened. Absolutely. We, you know, kind of took us a moment, uh, and I said this earlier, almost like a diesel engine, took us a moment to get warm. And when we did, I mean, things looked better. We, of course, had some, some, some penalties, and I just I don't know how we get away from those. I don't – I mean, we're, you know, what, eight games in now, eight games completed, and we still have the penalties there. And so that's one of those things that – it is just frustrating as a fan. Maybe we can do enough non-penalties next week that we might even do what Russo and the Independence <laughs> Wildcats have just pulled off. Well, that's what I was about to say. Uh, next week we'll be at North Panola, and uh, we need to uh, we need to do what exactly they did and put a whooping on those boys. And I'm tired of going up there, man. It yeah. seems like we hadn't played a game uh, against North Panola here in forever. Yeah. But uh, nevertheless, we'll take a break and be back and talk about North Panola right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Yalabusha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. All right, we're back. Next week, the Blue Devils will travel up to uh, North Panola and uh, take on the uh, the guys up there. You remember last year we lost pretty bad yeah. in that first game, and you know it was very much like the Winona game this right, year. Right, very because yeah. we we had that big play by Truss early, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we thought, okay, we're, we're, we this can is play a big with league them. fight, yeah. you know, and then and then they just kind of got on us, and we couldn't. We couldn't catch back up, you know, and uh, so kind of regroup, saw them in the playoffs, and then put a spanking on them. Now, uh, you know, they like to say that Jefferson wasn't 100%. No, I saw him run the ball a few times, and yeah. he was not slower. We knocked a few we, percent out of him. We uh, we played better defense. Yeah. We played a different type defense, and I think we showed it a little bit. We started pressing a little bit this week, but uh, – I think next week we really got to be strong on defense at the corners. And uh, if we can do that and uh, come up and make plays, and but really then we still got to move the ball on offense without right. getting that little yellow thing that keeps yep. popping up on us. Yep. So Coach Embry has 99 wins, needs one more to make the, the centurion mark, the century mark, right? Well, 100 game mark. So we got this week and next and uh, then playoffs, but uh, hopefully we can get that done next week, Chad. I, I'd yeah. like to get that out of the way yeah. for him, you know. Right. Well, and we were talking a moment ago, too. I mean, Lord, there's there's so many possible playoff scenarios in play because there's still two weeks to play. You know, North Panola getting knocked off by Independence, whom we beat last week, and, you know, so there's still a lot of things. We played that are, a bad game to do it, play. too. I mean, goodness gracious. We, we played terrible. That's, there's just no other description I don't think that's appropriate. We played terrible and still won. The third won. quarter was probably the worst I've yeah. seen in a while. Right. But, uh, you know, but the, what I was going to say with all of that is I think we've guaranteed ourselves no less than third. Right. And, and so we can play up. We, we, we can move up, um, hopefully first or second, based on what we do the next couple of weeks. That's the that's, that's what's going on. We just got to take care of business and get healthy and – 
and show up next week ready to play. And uh, I know the, the kids are not scared of that type of field, that's, that situation, that, that kind of big game. You know, the, all of them were pretty much here last year, and we had a few big games like that. So, That's right. So uh, we need next week to come out and buckle it up and uh, find a way to win. So your score tonight, though, 38-0 to in favor of the Devils. Uh, we'll see you all next week in North Panola for Bob Murphy and Chad Franks. I'm Steve Lewis. See you next week. Water Valley Blue Devil football has been brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Yalabusha Hospital and Nursing Home, Turnage Drug Store, Valley Tool Incorporated, Farm Bureau Insurance, Trolley Eye Clinic, Luke's Body Shop, Black & Associates PA, Midtown Auto Parts, First Choice Insurance, Crow Martin Attorneys at Law, C.W. White Incorporated, Horan and Horan PLLC. Fisher Property Team of Remax Legacy Realty. And Mechanics Bank. Water Valley Blue Devil Football has been a production of Murphy Productions.